Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my talk show. I'm your host, Owen Rebel here. Back again with another interview. Again, this is interview 258. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Again, a reminder, if you have any questions for uh, me or my guest, VRC Flair, who's coming on tonight, uh, please use the command as much as any questions in the chat. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But without further ado, let's introduce our guest coming from behind the curtains, VRC Flair. Hello, welcome. Hello, hi, hi. Wow. Hello, oh, hello. Take a seat first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, I'm very small, so I'm gonna have to like figure this out first. That's my bad. Ow. There we go. Okay, seems like I am in a good position. Hi, Rebel. Hi, Sierra. Hello, hello. How's it going? Great. It's it's a pleasure <laughs> to to finally have you on. Oh yeah, it's a pleasure to be uh, featured actually. I wasn't at all expecting you to contact me like out of nowhere. So well, I, it's the first time I've heard about you actually. I, I'm, a, I'm an elusive animal. I'm always in the shadows, you know. I'm always lurking, seeing, you know, who's who's mm -hmm. the next potential guest, you know? Oh, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. But yeah, welcome. So day so far? Great, you know, I... Uh, well, it was just mostly boring. You know how it is. Life, human things, you know, mowing the lawn, you know, watering, the boring stuff, man, you know. I had some food, Ew, you know. Responsibilities. Yeah, I know. Gross. <laughs> Let's be real here. Everyone wants to just live in VR and, you know, let their true yeah, selves go out, you know. True. I, 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 uh, I've been been here but once before i really fucking love the set and what you've done with it i just i just want to establish that like i i do a lot of different worlds and this yep. is definitely one of the prettiest worlds i've seen so far like especially for the theme it's very well made also Thank i you. see that my tracking is kind of fucking up oh, hold on <laughs> there we go <laughs> it's all right so my first question is um how did you get into uh, streaming specifically with twitch were you a youtuber before or like was it a friend that told you hey you should start streaming like tell me the uh, how'd you get into it um <clears throat> actually yeah I, I remember so the first time i ever did anything similar to streaming was back when i when I was I was drawing because I had a tablet, but you know the tablets and the drawing uh, programs from back in the day they weren't very good, uh, so I had to make do with what I had. Obviously, that was this like busted old old tablet, and I don't even remember what kind of like website it was, but I streamed to somewhere, um, and I streamed sort of my drawing, and that's sort of the first time I tried to be entertaining. But I don't remember a lot of back then. Mm -hmm. uh, so that didn't really go anywhere, so I decided to instead focus on YouTube. Like, uh, the era of YouTube, which was, like, enjoyable, which was, like, around, I would say, like, a little bit later uh, than 2010 to 2014, I think, was enjoyable. But then, like, every single two years, there was, like, an adpocalypse on top of the old one. So eventually the, like, revenue became non-existent. So after, after a while, it was very demotivating. Uh, so I just didn't bother, you know. Um, so, hmm. so right after that, I around actually 2021, like for many years, I just kind of like sat at home and I didn't really do much. And I always felt like I was like entertaining enough, or I wanted to entertain people. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to focus on, well, both myself and like work on myself, but also. I actually achieve the, the the you know how like when like right before you go to bed like like you have all these ideas storming through your mind and you want to like note them down or work on them suddenly but that's only like right before you go to bed i was kind of sick and tired of like not doing it so i was just like fuck it i, I created an original character uh which like the design of that is a bit different than this one but i didn't know how to make avatars at the time so like uh from then i just like you know i tried and i i adjusted a lot of different things and now i'm here Happier so than ever. <laughs> so how long have you been streaming for on twitch like a couple months a year uh actually so technically only like seven eight months okay. uh, that i streamed consistently before that i was always like little bits here little bits there but never like consistently and now i've taken it like a bit more serious if that makes sense 
Of course. I mean, you got partnered. Like, Fuck it. You know, I think I think I think that's taking it more serious. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel that. Okay. How long have you been streaming for? Um. Well, for VR chat and like you know, in this sort of ecosystem or community since uh, December of 2017, but I actually technically streamed like six, seven years ago. But I did like, I, I would stream like once a year where I'll just like, oh, you know, I guess I'll just stream playing Fallout or something. And I'll just do that <laughs> randomly. But consistently, almost, enough, yeah. almost four years. Four years, wow. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't really imagine that, but like I also don't really imagine myself going like anywhere else. Like, like, I've done a lot of retail, like, mm -hmm. ever since I was an adult and, you know, I had to provide money in order to, you know, survive. Yes. So, that thing. Um, Need food. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, this... <laughs> uh, but ever since then, I, I sort of, I sort of, like, looked around on what was available and what was sort of, like, in my level of interest, if that makes sense. But, like, I couldn't really find anything. All, all the things I could find was, like, oh, do you want to be in architecture in, you know, Brussels and, like, you know, go up and off to your work one hour in traffic every single day? And I was like, hell no! Like, I want to be more creative. I, I want to create. And, and that's what I do. And I'm very stubborn when it comes to that because a lot of the stuff that I want to do, I want to, like, do specifically how I envision it. Otherwise, I don't like it. So I've done... All my own emotes, I've done all my own banner art, I've done... Really? Well, all of my own avatar work, yeah. Like, all of this is, um, well, t not all assets are made by me, obviously. Like, obviously the base is the, uh, Hopkin, the Hobbit Hopkin. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and like the vest, I, I, I just like got that from like a PS1 character or whatever, but it looks good. And it okay. works. And otherwise it's not used anyway, so it was free, so why not? I get you. How did you get into? How did you uh, mm -hmm. come up with the name Flare? Or like, I know that VRC probably means VR chat Flare, ooh, but like, how's ooh. the Flare part come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, can I just mention something? Sure. I I really just like like whenever I'm in a chat of like anyone and I, I, people refer to me as VRC instead of Flare, I, like that just makes me want to fucking change. Listen, my name. I like, feel I'm it. Really... Some people because my name's that one Rebel. Some people are like, hey, that one, and I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Bruh, dude, my name's <laughs> Rebel, dude. Come on. Hey, hey, the. Hi, hi, one. How you doing? Hi, hi, one. Hi, that. What's up, dude? What's up, that? We I'm are like... number one. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the name Flair, uh, I've had this one actually for about, I, I don't know, like 16 years now? 16 yeah, years? Like ever since, yeah, yeah, 16 years. I've been very stubborn with it. That's older than half know, the yeah. chat. What the heck, man? <laughs> well, the, the, the thing is, like, I I try to I try to sort of be consistent because, like, my IRL name, which uh -huh. I, I'm not gonna like just say out of nowhere, but like English uh, yeah. doesn't bode well with my name. Okay, like it, it sounds weird. Uh, so I was like, okay, what like is nice, short, and rolls off the tongue, and and it's also a little bit symbolic since of late, but like I can go into that later. Mm -hmm. Um. But essentially, the name Flare came from uh, Final Fantasy VIII specifically. You have this like guardian force that like uses Mega Flare, and uh, Mega Flare is like a sort of like a Kamehameha, but with the mouth from a dragon. So Ooh. it looks really fucking cool. Yeah, nice. yeah. And, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, I want that. Let's go." <laughs> Makes sense. Awesome. Um. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've just been very consistent with it. Like. My YouTube channel used to be called Mass Dragon Flare because my uh, family name is Mass. Yeah. And I don't know, you know, Dragon from that flame thing. But I don't know, it wasn't it wasn't very short and sweet. So now I'm trying to get like Flare VR or something that's short and starts with Flare so people don't confuse, you know. Oh my god, yo, is that the one? Yo, all right, how's it going? <laughs> I I feel the same. I, I want the name Rebel, but unfortunately, whoever had the name Rebel on Twitch is permanently banned off of this platform. They, they were a naughty boy. I oh, I hate that so much. Like they they listed a couple of reasons why I couldn't have Flare VR, 
And one of them uh, was that it could potentially be banned off of uh, Twitch because I didn't see it anywhere. Like I was like, oh, this must be available because no one yeah. seemed to have it. But apparently it's just banned. Wait, what the hell are they going to do in like a hundred years when every fucking name is banned? <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> or enacted. You just, you just, you just buy them out. They're like, oh, I'm rich. I'm famous. I have 10,000 viewers. Can I have sure. this? And they're like, yeah. okay. Do you have Elon Musk's number or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'll, call I'll call Jeff Bezos. I'm like, Jeff, yo, come on. Give me the name Rebel. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'll donate. I'll, I'll buy some more stonks, you know? Come on, dude. You want some more Amazon stonks? Two pizzas. Like, yeah, I'll buy, yeah, yeah, dude, I'll buy you a couple go. pizzas, dude. Frozen pizzas. You want some? It's a mood and a half. But, um... Okay, so my next question <laughs> is, um, how'd you get introduced into the, the, the furry uh, community, the fandom? Right. Yo, wait, hold on. Let me actually put my drink down. Because, like, I'm a bit particular when it comes to, like, the whole furry thing and the whole furry community. Okay. Because uh, to me, personally, I don't think it should matter what someone likes, right? True. Uh, personally, I'm uh, of the belief that, like, if you really like, say, for example, football... Uh -huh. uh, you don't automatically want to be associated with like the loudest or like the the worst possible examples of the people that are really really into football. Like uh, I'm sort of strawmanning here, but like I've seen some video clips of people fighting over their favorite like you know like uh, club or whatever or team not winning. Yeah. And I think that's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I don't think if you enjoy something like that, you should be automatically associated with it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the same way goes with furries. Uh, obviously some people I feel like some people uh, are sort of suppressed in the way that like they don't want to call themselves furries at first but then they stop caring about what other people think and start enjoying it uh, and then they overact the fact that they couldn't do the whole like you know ubu and nuzzle whatever the hell some people do like that's fine like you can do whatever the hell you want in your own free time and I think that's perfectly acceptable um you know, as long as you stay reasonable and stuff. But for me, like, uh, basically, ever since I got the name Flair, I, 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 I really liked anthropomorphic stuff, like mm -hmm. just anything that looked sort of like, you know, how like you can have like a guy from like Norway or whatever, like some anime setting that's like, oh, spirit of bear, and then like he fights like a bear or something, like, like just animalistic things like integrated, because like I feel like just human is kind of like predictable and. For me, a little bit boring after a while. Um, so I, I was like, I, how I'm a human. I... <laughs> no, no, no. Like, that's perfectly fun. <laughs> what, what, what I'm trying to say is like, um, I don't, I don't want to like, like, I don't want to judge anyone that isn't either. But I also don't want to judge anyone who is because everyone can have their own reason. Uh, but for me, it's very casual, and I would honestly rather people view it that way too. Like, it shouldn't matter. If that makes sense. Like, if, if you want to be a cute animal, fucking, like, whatever, on, online, or represent yourself that way, then I don't think it dictates how I act or, you know, how I am in real life. True. Yeah. I get what uh, you're so saying. So, for me, um... Yeah, oh, wait, let me, uh... Whoop, sorry. <laughs> There's a bit of bounce in this cushion. <laughs> uh, so, for me, um... I, I like how they look. I, I di didn't associate with it for the longest time because of that stigma. Uh, beca because, uh, oh, like, oh, help, help, help. This, <laughs> listen, you talking smack, so, so now it's on the chair trying to eat you. That's what happens. <laughs> That's what, oh my god. Uh, but yeah, like, like I said, like, I feel like everyone should be able to express themselves however they want. Mm -hmm. uh, people shouldn't automatically associate everything that some like some extreme examples in a community do yeah. with the rest of the community. Like I, I think that's very unfair. And uh, I've I've been judged before, and people come in my chat before uh, because it's really easy to just see something that isn't you or whatever the group you don't belong to and then just be like haha that thing isn't me i can shit all over it if i want you know people that like put other people down to make themselves seem higher if that makes sense i think those people are so, called I, children I feel like it's really <laughs> i think so too uh but yeah that's basically my take on the whole furry thing but like how i got introduced is honestly like 
Disney. Okay. What's Disney, Disney Mouse film? Is a oh, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. No. Yeah, it, their mascot, Mickey Mouse, is technically by by definition a furry. And a lot of people oh, don't boy. like connect the dots. Yeah, 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 Goofy is too, and I don't want to go into the whole like Pluto versus Goofy kind of thing because that's kind of weird. Like, where do you draw a line there? But still, uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of it's kind of weird how like it's it's so easy to just look at something that you're like not associated with and then hate on it. And I, I obviously don't want to do that. So so like you wanna you wanna be a fucking I don't know like a ghoul or like a zombie avatar then fucking go for it. Like I, I don't think that like this dictates how, who you are or what you stand for. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I <laughs> maybe I want to be a slime girl one day. Maybe I want to be a bunny girl one day. You know? Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? Like nothing's stopping you other than the like the fear of being judged by other people and. Honestly, that, that I'm trying to motivate my like my community too by like, listen, if you want to be anything for whatever reason, like you truly want it, then the only thing that's really stopping you is you, like, or or the fact that you can't get the avatar, of course, or you don't have money or resources to get it, but still. I feel that. Okay, that's another story. <laughs> what, if, what if I want to be you? Well, actually. So ever uh if i'm going to make my own model at some point this model the final uh version of this model is going to be public at some point oh nice so technically you, you, you can, can have yeah. you, you can have uh all these all, you can give you the new meme you can have flare running around everywhere everyone just turns into flare in public <laughs> You know, oh, like those baby versions of yeah. people that i've seen yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, simulate was, you just start to simulate <laughs> everybody <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is that, like, uh, there's a reason I model my model specifically the way I've done. And people say I have, a, like, a lot of cake. I feel like if I were to release that, there'd be a lot of diabetes everywhere. Oh, <laughs> That's all shit. I'm saying. <laughs> diabetes. I gotcha. What's, mm -hmm. the, what's the lore on, on your specific avatar? Obviously, you have, like, multiple outfits and... In the color scheme and stuff like that is there a reason or are you just yeah. like hey i just like it honestly uh it's it, like it started off with some ideas like it, it like scattered ideas from like different ocs that i already had in mind but like in order to explain those i'd have to explain the entire lore of like like another idea i had mm -hmm. and i really don't want to get into that that's going to be way too long uh but basically okay. I like uh, I like floppas and like it's sort of a meal. It's uh, I think technically the uh, word for it is carco. It's a sort of lynx. Okay. And I really like the whole like ears going flop 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 flop. <laughs> yeah. So I thought it was really cute. Uh, and then I was just like the only thing I didn't really like about lynxes was the short tail. So I made my own. Like wait, what? what? This, this one right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I had to model that too, but honestly, that's about it. Like I, I just was like, okay, what will look good? Uh, or the only thing I really kept in mind was like, I wanted to make it uh, be able to look sort of synthwave cyberpunk because I fucking love that style so much. I even have like the glasses on my other avatar uh, for it. Um, you've seen those actually in the uh, the party world where we were at. Yes. Um, and then I was like, okay just natural colors and then like a color accent and then i just chose this hair and i don't know it's just sort of developed honestly i just sort of work on my avatar see what fits and then like over time like it sort of creates its own lore the only lore it technically has is that it sort of just represents me and there's like a lot of cheesy streams where i cry because my fucking community is way too fucking kind to me i fucking love all of you <laughs> Uh, so they make me cry a lot. <laughs> and that's honestly about it. Oh, I'm technically fanboy e, but like, I, that's more of a like freedom of expression kind of thing than more so like I feel effeminate or I feel like, oh, my hip is not working or I feel like, you know, I feel female, which isn't really the case. I feel like people should just be able to act however they want, as long as they have good intentions, you know? True. It's 2021. Yeah. <laughs> You can just do whatever yeah, exactly. you want, you know? Wake up, people. Like, the only one stopping you from being amazing is you. Wake up, America. It's 2021. It's almost 2022. Just be yourself. <laughs> Phew. Oh, I'm going to be old soon. <laughs> old. <laughs> I 
but it's fine it's fine I, honestly for the longest time i've sort of i don't know like this goes in on what you asked earlier like i didn't really do much with myself you know i was just kind of like sitting there and I, I was enjoying communities and like being a part of other communities but like it, it's weird because if i don't really initiate anything usually nothing ever seems to like happen that i really care about so i was like you know what fuck it i'll just do it myself <laughs> I was like ah oh, mars isn't colonized yet all right be right back just give me a second <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, my next question is uh, prestige is dope. Yeah. Uh, how did you find? How did you get into VR chat specifically? Like, how did you get introduced to VR chat? <laughs> oh, um, specifically. Yeah. Oh, I remember. I remember. Um, so I used to just only watch YouTube, and I used to just only really do stuff on YouTube because obviously I tried to make that happen, right? Uh, um. And uh, at some point I got in, in like, I think it was Jameski actually, one, one of Jameski's first videos. Really? Like around the like Uganda Nakas uh, era where like, you know, I don't have to explain it, everyone knows. Uh, but that and I think then Drumsy too, and he was live on, on Twitch. Uh, and I was like, oh, this looks cool. I kind of I kind of wish like I was a part of, of this. And a lot of people obviously like... If you make a lot of YouTube videos and you take people from YouTube to Twitch, those are sort of different people than people who are inherently interested in Twitch. Uh, because those people will sort of expect to be sort of a part more of the video kind of thing to get either like fame or whatever. Because a lot of people like come to those creators uh, to then try and get in, basically. And obviously, I, I, I unfortunately was one of those people that originally wanted to come in, but I quickly realized that it might be slightly obnoxious if a random person, you know, just, you know, walks up your set and then just starts saying random things, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I almost yeah. lived for that a few times in my life. <laughs> I just sort of the same thing with my uh oh yeah yeah definitely so during like my um my my sort of like chill talk lo-fi streams yeah uh, more often than not I, I like to keep the energy down because especially like my streams are a bit more late on European times and I feel like more often than not I'm trying to envision what I would like to watch and one of the things I like to watch is uh, just something I can have on the side while I do other things. Because I can never just do one thing. I always need to be doing like 10 fucking things at the same time. <laughs> Especially, uh, it's, because otherwise I feel like I like miss out, you know? And obviously yeah, that's so. inevitable, but still. Uh, that, that's why I like to put on lo-fi. That's why I like to like really engage with my chat as much as possible. Um, mm -hmm. And I think they like it. I mean, they, they've told me that like... Uh, they they really just enjoy me giving them attention, and they've been very. <laughs> they've showed my, their appreciation like quite a lot, and yeah, sorry, <laughs> not gonna get emotional, but like it, it's it's insane. The amount That's of stuff fine. they have done for me is insane. We get some <laughs> hearts in the chat for Flair. Like, come on, like, this is a big moment, you know. Just get some love, get some appreciation, you know. Hearts in the chat. I fucking love this set so much. It's so well done. Holy shit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, since you've been oh streaming... God, there's so many! <laughs> yeah, of course. I told you. Um, <laughs> since you've been streaming for like eight, nine months, um, were you nervous the first time you streamed? Was there any like doubt in your mind? Uh, you know, streaming? <gasps> Yeah, yeah, there, there was, uh, there was nothing but doubt in my mind at the time. I, um, since I worked only in retail at the time, uh, and I didn't really, I didn't really know what to do or where my life would go. All I knew is that, like, as long as I make enough to get by, or like to, you know, eat and survive, I don't really care what happens to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but now, nowadays, I start to learn my, uh, to learn to value myself a lot more. Yeah. Uh, and to learn that, like, my influence can a actually help people. Like, actually help people. Like, uh, there, uh, I'll deviate from that a little bit. But basically, I started streaming. And uh, one of the first things that happens... Um, mm -hmm. what I, I, I don't know if it was... Wednesdays? Yeah, I think one of the first actual streams from VRChat was, like, a Wednesday. And I do this with uh, Tokumi. Uh, Tokumi VR also streams herself. She uh, hosts Workout Wednesdays. 
and then we do a bunch of workouts. So it was a good excuse for me to be like, okay, I can both be productive on my stream in real life, working on my body and, and like make connections and like expand and stuff like that. And I've always sort of like played with that idea. And eventually I had a stream schedule, I think that was just like Wednesdays and Saturdays because Saturdays were like, you know, drinking nights and excuse of like, hey, let's get drunk and whatever, right? Um, so those were both fun. Uh, obviously I had my hurdles where like, uh, back in the day, I used to just accept everyone in basically like, uh, I think you did too. Yeah. Uh, but basically, there were a couple of people that like, obviously I'm a furry, I act very flamboyant and gay. So I'm pretty used to people just coming in my chat and hating on me. And to the point where, like, honestly, I, I enjoy seeing them from time to time because that makes me appreciate my chat more. That makes me appreciate the people that aren't like that more. And you're never going to be able to satisfy everyone anyway. So I'm just like, fuck it. I'll just act however the fuck I want. Like, whether you like it or not is none of my concern. But if you like me and you care about me, you'll show it. Just like I'm trying to show it too, you know? Uh, but back in the day, it wasn't as easy and... Uh, automatic you know like nowadays i feel like okay yeah i know what to do i want to have this done and plan this out and, and collab and stuff like that uh but back then it was a, a, a lot more of question marks everywhere it's like what the fuck do i do with myself <laughs> i played some arc and minecraft and other things and eventually i just settled on vr chat but that was mostly before the partner thing so now i can i can play whatever the fuck i want and i don't have to worry true, about true. i hate that shit uh, <laughs> I fucking hate that so much. Oh. <laughs> but I love my chat to bits and pieces, honestly. I get you. Is there any uh, any goals? Like uh, now you got partners. Anything else you like want to achieve or like, you know, focus um, on in the future? One thing I, w yeah, yeah. So like, I've, obviously, I've done like a lot of. Um, I've done a lot of YouTube in the past before, but like none of it really hit apart from one video that got like 420,000 views. Yeah. Why? It, it's literally just a 20 second meme about, like, do you know what Lenny Phase is? It's like a copy pasta, like smug face. Yeah. If you type in Lenny Phase, you'll find it. I made a video called When I'm Lenny Phase. And that's it. And, and. I could tell it, you it, why. It's, it's a really stupid. <laughs> you can you can literally type that in and you'll find a video that's like four four hundred twenty thousand views, even more, of just like when I'm Lenny Phase. That's one of the fucking videos I made. It's so fucking stupid. Uh, but like I tried YouTube, and now that like I sort of have a theme, like I didn't used to have a theme before, and I tried to make my own, but it wasn't very good. And now I have like a theme of the character design, especially with the character design, and also just things that I can add on. Yeah, uh, it's it's a lot easier to focus. Like creating that theme for yourself is so hard. <laughs> it, it's ridiculous because like you have to be sort of original, you know, in, in your own right. And you don't want to just feel like you're you're just either copying someone or it just looks like like oh like I don't know number seventy thousand that looks like a like a block of cheese. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Well, the, the reason why your video blew up, was this like a recent video or was it a, like from years ago? This was at random, like, I think like five, six years ago. Like, it, it was literally because it was like, um, there's a lot of the, the same like uh, style of meme. And it was basically like, oh, when I'm, I don't know, Tokubi or whatever from Pokemon. And then you just see a whole bunch of pictures of uh, Tokumi being smug or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so I just took the same format and I made something that didn't exist yet. So I guess. That was it. So, so there... I could, like capitalize on low hanging fruit. <laughs> well, if it was posted more recently, it would make sense because YouTube is updated to have, uh, they're more catering to YouTube shorts. <laughs> so if the video is less than, I think, a minute long on YouTube, it gets really uh, popular yeah. because that's just the way YouTube is nowadays. That's the, that's the meta. Um, same yeah, with TikTok, yeah. obviously. Everything just wants to get shorter and shorter and shorter. You know, 10 years ago, it was all about oh 10, 15 minute videos about playing <laughs> Minecraft. Now it's one minute video where it's like, hey guys, look. Whoa, million views. <laughs> you know, that, that's Dude, the meme. I, I can just imagine in like 100 years, it's just going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be like a point two second video of just like, ah, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, I've seen people literally just, I literally seen a video that literally was just a VTuber just going, ah, and then he got like 100k views, so like, it is a thing. I mean, oh, you mean the shard girl? Yeah. 
Oh my god, actually, fuck yeah, you're right. We're living in the future. Holy shit. <laughs> That's content. You just go, you just go live on Twitch for like five seconds. You're like, hey guys, and you just see you later. And just, one million views. Oh my god. Give me all, give me all your money. Oh my god. Here's my life savings. <laughs> That's content for Woo, you. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, actually, funny thing you say that. Um, uh, I have a friend who's also. Uh, trying to get partner right now uh their name is bardic uh okay. we have done a thing called the maid olympics which was basically we had to play a bunch of games in vr like against each other and mm -hmm. whoever won uh had uh won the other one as a maid for a day for like on their stream or whatever so that's what we did I lost by like a hair, so I had to be uh, his maid for the day. And kind of funny, like he just took me on like a nice chat, and like he didn't actually humiliate me, which I, I kind of was hoping for that a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, because like that would have been funny. But like he's been nice, he's been so nice. Uh, but point is, me and him made a TikTok at some point because I know he had a TikTok, yeah. and we had this idea. Um, there's a meme going around of like, what, what is it? Like, you want this cake, and then the the, the fucking guy says, I want it, like yeah. a couple times back and forth. So we made that. Uh, we posted that on TikTok, and uh, apparently, like, <laughs> apparently it got like what, eleven thousand views in like two hours. Uh, and then in a total of 14,000 or whatever before it got taken down. Damn. <laughs> like, so... TikTok. I also try to... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I also try to make a emote, which is just, you know, cake. But obviously, like, at the time, I didn't want, wasn't trying to go for a party. I was just like, ah, fuck it, whatever. I'll just please my chat. Um, four days before it got removed. <laughs> You know, you know, you just upload, so just, you just re-upload it to bitterswitch.tv and then you just, you know. I have an email called THICK in all that, caps. I that. That's what I did. If you type in yeah, THICK I, I, in all caps in my chat, you get my, my cake oh, emote. It's oh. been there for like a year. Oh, oh shit, really? Oh, fuck, alright. Oh, wow, that is Or what's the other one? Yeah, or the, uh, or the, the booty, sorry, it's booty in all caps. That's the other one I was thinking of. It, it, that's so strange, because like I try to upload my emotes to better uh, twi twitch.tv too, yeah. uh, and when I uh, it got auto rejected, like I, it wasn't letting me put it on. Oh, uh, I it, think it's really weird. Do you pay for better twitch.tv pro? No, no, oh, that's oh, why shit. then I is, pay is for it. Yeah, you can pay for it and you get like auto email approval. And I also been like subscribed for like a year or two, so they. Oh my god. Special privileges, I guess, because they're paying money. Did, did we did we find did we find the loophole? Just pay did money. Find the loophole you so just, we can have just, flare cake. You just, you just pay for it. <laughs> if it if it you doesn't like you might not like my if it doesn't allow you on bittertwist.tv, <laughs> then you just use Frank or Faye Z. If it doesn't allow you on there, then you use uh what's it called? Seven T V? That's the newest one that just came out and they asked up like everything, honestly. On there. Sheesh. We could have like 200, 300 fucking. <laughs> yeah, like 500 emotes. emotes like uh, everything is just an emote now. It's just emote only channel. Pay, to, yeah, pay to win. <laughs> you yeah. don't like my cake? Here, have money. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, just make your own third party <laughs> plugin. Works, I guess. You know? <gasps> Pop? Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I, I mean, now that I have partner, I have like, what, like 50 emote slots in total or something Holy like that? Holy shit. I and wish I had 50. What the fuck? It, is it 50? I don't, like, I don't it's, know. Like, it's, it's based like, on uh, how many know. subs you have. Right, right. Uh, fuck. No, no, no. How many was it? It was like uh, 26 for the first one plus my 5 one, and then like 5, like uh, tier 2 and tier 4. Freaking yeah. and follow emotes too. I, I don't know. Like I, I, this is the first time I looked at it. I was like, "Cool, I'm partner. I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now." Happy tears. <laughs> uh, but still, like, um, since I make everything myself, uh, currently I'm like working on like the retopology of like the, the Hopkin because like the floof was like all flattened out yeah. and I make like folding the skin weird and shit. So I was just like, "Ah, fuck it, I'll do it myself." Um, after that. I have the time and resources to make my own emotes. And like, I am still taking suggestions for that, but I have a couple of ideas. One of them is definitely gonna be dab because a lot of people like like to meme uh, of course. <laughs> or lurk or whatever. Yeah. It's always nice to like see other people's emotes too. 
and that's where I get my inspiration from, like other people, honestly. <laughs> Absolutely. How'd you get into Ooh, uh, drawing? Activity. Ooh. Um. <laughs> you you want to know the honest truth? Yeah, sure. Uh, I. Uh, I, during my very, 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 very young uh, days, where like it was like six, seven, or whatever, uh, most of the time in class I was just bored. Okay. So I was just doodling, and then my mom was like, "Oh wow, you can draw very good. You should go to art school." Uh, because I didn't have anything else that I wanted to do. Uh -huh. Um, so I did, and I went to art school, and I, I honestly was one of the better ones there. Uh, I didn't actually end up getting my degree because, like, again, like, I had this whole period where... <laughs> Sorry, I had to prepare. <laughs> I had this whole period where, um, I didn't really value myself. So even, like, if I made amazing stuff, it didn't really m matter. Because, I don't know, like, I'm very nihilistic and I feel like the only reason why I'm really alive is because I'm not dead yet. But since recently that changed. Uh, since recently I've had a reason to live. And it's you. Right there. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in the chat? This guy's alive because of you guys. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, they're so fucking cute! <laughs> All of you are way too fucking cute, I swear to God. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, next question <laughs> is... Um... Are any... Is there any streamers you watch and enjoy? Like, do you watch other people on Twitch? <laughs> Anyone you enjoy? Anyone oh, yeah, you, like, you uh, want to yeah. support and be like, oh my god, I want them to be cool like me or, you know, support them in their own fashion. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool like me. Yeah, cool like you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a couple of them, actually. So, a couple of them you already know. Um, let's see. Uh, VRC Bunny. Lulu. Uh, Snowy VR. He was in chat earlier. Mm -hmm. Mossy. I really, I really like Moss. He's he's very cute, very very adorable, and 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 I, I love him to bits and pieces. Yeah, you over there, I can see. You. <laughs> uh, uh, th those are on the top of my mind, honestly. Oh, Frenzy too, obviously. Uh, wave, 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 Mossy, wave, wave to the camera. <laughs> We can switch the camera to actually show it. There you go. Yeah, there, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Wave, wave, moss. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love how my other two mouths are just laying there. They're just chilling. You comfortable? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what I love. Siggy so actually has uh, the asset that, like, the the one that I made, uh, like the same tuxedo that I have, Ooh. and he put it on his uh, model too. It's one of the uh, things I always uh, end up doing too, is like, if I make something, uh, and it like, you know, cause like the Hobbit, uh, Hopkin is very popular, and the proportions kind of fit the other avatars too. So whenever I make an asset, I just make it sort of publicly available if, like, I'm sort of done using it, but mm -hmm. other, other people want to enjoy it, you know, they can. They can. Th there's a couple of exceptions where, like, I make something from scratch, was which was my glasses, and, I mean, I, I technically I can show them, but I would have to change avatars real quick. Uh, if you want me to. Um, sure. If you want to step out outside the camera yeah. and you can just, you know, RPMs changing okay. clothes. Changing clothes. Be right back. <laughs> just give me a second. No problem. Oh, right, right, right. So anyway, while uh, while uh, they are changing their clothes, anybody, uh, just a reminder, if any have questions in the chat, as much point questions we'll take them in a moment here night master boss boy just resubscribed for five months hey thanks for the five months i appreciate I that am ready. ah thank you all right um we're ready switch the camera new outfit oh yeah i'm wearing something completely different now <laughs> whoa it's fashion show <laughs> yeah i suppose so yeah <laughs> Damn, no damn. Look at that 360. All right, switch it back to uh, on us. Thank you. <laughs> damn, you like, you dripped out. God damn. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> it's actually what, like, most of these assets, like, are public. Um, okay. And they're already sort of in use. You just don't sort of have to be creative enough to put, like assemble them in a specific way because i did some calculations and with everything that i have on my avatar yep. i can have i think forty two thousand two hundred eighty different outfits holy smokes <laughs> with this avatar alone what the fuck yeah it, it 
it, it's literally it's just basic math it's i have a texture change mm -hmm. i have a clothing change uh and there's i think like there's three different stages of my texture i can technically add more very easily i uh have uh, a, a lot of different states of my sweater and then i can choose to have my sweater on or off then i have a toggle for the cat fit like this people aren't used to seeing me without the cat fit so usually i just leave it on <laughs> uh but yeah i can toggle this off if i want to i can toggle the tuxedo on i can toggle the maid outfit on which actually kind of looks cute Hoodie slider, which does this. Whoa, what? <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? You, you fit to any any Just, situation, you know? Uh, that's that's sort of the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sort of the idea. And the glasses, I could technically also make a toggle too. The mm -hmm. only problem I have is like, I like to use like this super fancy camera, which now that I have my new graphics card is going to be a lot easier yeah, to do. Virtual lens. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, virtual lens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a really good thing because like it looks really good and it's super aesthetically pleasing and especially with like the low fine whatever uh however it's very demanding oh yeah of course yeah my computer <laughs> like a 2060 yeah. super Omar, it's, i got a 3080 yeah. ti and it turns into a jet engine when i start using it my I, well i got one too just like today actually like when i woke up i installed it today uh, it does get pretty loud. That's all I'm saying. It's like a... <laughs> but it works. It works. And that's what I'm fucking happy for. Because there's a lot of these websites which, you know, sell the supposed, you know, graphics card. But oh, they yeah. don't actually sell them. They just want your money. Yeah. They just sell so, the box. I was a bit afraid of that. Hey, you want the box? Mm -hmm. the, the thing came in? Hey, yo. <laughs> That's how they get I you. Mean, it is a pretty nice box. So you, yeah. you open it up. It's like if a cat were to make a purchase. I've seen someone. I've seen some scams <laughs> where where people will sell it, and inside it's just like a 1060 or something, but it says a 3080 on the box. Ooh, Ooh oh scam God. artist. Yikes. Uh, that's why I honestly, now that I have it and I know it works, I should probably just go to the website just to be like, yes, this is legitimate. Just to like, you know, ease Legend some of the. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, it, it works, I tried it out, and I, I, I can play like... Uh, I mean, this doesn't really mean much, because like, you know, it's an optimized game and it's meant for competitive, but I was trying out Overwatch earlier, yeah. and I put it on Epic settings, and it was maxed out on frames. Like, no dip whatsoever. I was doing to Discord too, just this fucking amazing. <sighs> Especially for the job that I do, you know, like it usually I'm by myself anyway, but like being able to stream I, I guess technically I can stream 1080 now if I want to uh, But being able to stream that like uh, um, and make it look good as, at the same time It's gonna look amazing <laughs> Love that Absolutely <sighs> So it's sort of an investment for the job, you know, yeah, yeah, so speaking of community stuff like that so obviously in the more recent time you know with your getting partnership and blowing up how do you feel about your community i know that you said they're very generous but you know when we get to actually see the people that you know watch you and you get to hang out with them in vr chat how does that make you feel oh my goodness i i'm so so fucking lucky like obviously i've i've filtered through people that uh have been less than desirable uh if that makes sense people that like guilt trip or people that try to find loopholes around like the rules i've instated which i already had to make like stupidly specific because i know that there are people out there that is like oh technically i didn't break the rules so technically i didn't do anything wrong you know stuff like that i, I like to prepare myself for those people because i've dealt with those people before mm -hmm. and now that i've i've sort of had to put my foot down a couple of times unfortunately that that's just life that it happens like you have to deal with rotten apples now and then but like the the, the garden i have now of like amazing shining beautiful stars in my community is like it it, it, ma it makes me want to get up in the morning and i used to not want to now that now that i now that I have this community, I am looking forward to working every single day. And that's not something I thought I would ever say. Uh, because I, wa I want to make them smile and I want to see them happy. And uh, they, they want the same for me. <laughs> they, they've made that very clear before. Um, which is also why I, I want to give... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but that's exactly also why like, I, I want to give everyone 
an equal opportunity to be able to introduce themselves to me mm -hmm. and to meet me if they do enough effort for it. So basically, I have something on Thursday nights, which is a community night, which is in VR chat. And VR chat is technically free. All you really need is a computer that can run it, which, I mean, that alone is like, you know, kind of hard to find nowadays. But still, um, Piaccia is technically free. You can technically come meet me in desktop uh, on Thursday nights, and I make a announcement in it on my Discord. And then there's steps to add me on VRChat, and then I accept uh, friend requests after the announcement, uh, because before I could just be random invites from whoever wants to, like, sees me on Twitch and is like, oh, I want to add this person and potentially, like, come in their world and crash them or whatever, because that has happened before. Uh, twice. Yikes. Uh, yeah. The first time that happened, I was live too, and they displayed some less than Twitch friendly stuff on my screen. And screamed uh, a lot of the stuff that you probably shouldn't say. Uh, so after Damn. that, I was like, Aha, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got you. So, yeah, anyway, so like. That I want to give everyone the opportunity to meet me. And uh, honestly, like, besides some rare exceptions. All of them have been very, very kind to me. And just gotta give them a chance, you know? <laughs> okay. Is there any um, inside jokes or any... Um, while you're streaming, is there any, like, jokes or memes or things that people try and, you know, come up with as, as you become a streamer? Like, I know that you have, like, the... Um, the redeem to um, <clears throat> to expand certain regions, you know, and people talk about cake and certain things they're going on, you know. <laughs> what what started that whole thing, you know? What's what's the story beyond so, that? You want uh, okay? Okay, so uh, I, I can explain both actually. So I wanted a different tail on my Hopkin, okay. right? And the model I got already had like there was basically the base Hopkin, but it had some custom blend chips on it. So someone already went through the effort of making them, and I was like, ah, fuck it, it's free. I'll download it, whatever. I'll put my own tail on it. So this is technically not the base base Hopkin. It's literally just someone who was lazily like, okay, fuck this tail. I'm gonna pl plaster another one, uh, just like a mesh on it, uh, because it was tailless, right? Uh, yes. I, and now I'm going through the effort of actually fixing the mess that they left behind. Um, but essentially, it had this blend shape on it, which Whoa. gives me boobas. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna take off my shirt, but you get the idea, right? Of course. And, what? And... That's where the plot armor went. Well, so I mean, distracted. Exactly. Exact, now, now, exact. now I can focus again. Continue. So anyways, <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. And most of the time, a lot of the stuff I do is pure improv. It's not like a lore reason specifically. It, I think like I could go that route and I could like expand like in a story for my original character. But I don't want to put up an act when I'm live. I want to show the people that I am me. And what you're getting is truly who I am. I'm pretty much an open book for everyone, and most of the time, people appreciate that. Uh, people appreciate some honesty, and pe people appreciate some, like, I don't know, like, level-headedness, if that yeah. makes sense? Mm -hmm. Where, where, where they, they don't feel like they're, they're talking to, like, a, a fucking figurehead or, like, a god or whatever. That, that's why I think it's also important that they meet me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, most of the stuff that I do is uh, just based on pure improv. Uh, the cake thing, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> uh, and my server's called the Smuck Club because I'm very fucking smuck. Mm -hmm. And I think I usually hear stuff and I pick up stuff and then I just compile it into my own thing. Like, uh, honestly, like, uh, for example, the cow outfit that I have, which I'm now sort of known for. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to, like, my original design didn't have this. I was just like, I want to add it. And now it's part of what I do and who I am. That's why I also have a movie team, for example. But this was inspired by RC because uh, they are like a devil cow. I think, I think, I think it's not, it's not succubus. I'm pretty sure it's not, like they, they emphasize that it's not succubus. It's a de devil. Um, but yeah, that's where I got the idea from. And I was like, oh, this would be cute on a, on a Hopkin because I didn't really see it anywhere. Uh, so I tried a, different, a couple of things and it worked. And, and uh, yeah, most of the time, like the only thing I would say um, that is sort of an insider, but it's not like a, supposed to be a funny insider, okay. um, was around uh, Valentine. So 
this was a month after I started streaming and I had some support and some of the people that were there uh, are still around and obviously I really appreciate that but um, at the time I was pretty much no one like I was just sort of someone who streamed outside I did it every day though but like still uh, but around Valentine's Day I at some random interval since I constantly am trying to show people that I care both in my chat and around my chat and offline uh, people then for the first time in like in my entire life like donated like a stupid amount to me that day relative to my other days I think it was like a total of like almost 750 or something damn that day. Nice. Yeah, it was quite a lot. Um, and that, that was back when I had less than a thousand uh, followers. And uh, like that day, I realized that I, I am able to make this happen. That's when I that's when my fear of continuing this dream that I had to entertain people and to be there for people uh, sort of got realized. And the day after that, on Valentine's Day, um, that day, I was supposed to give back to the community uh, because, like, I, I I like to earn the thing that I have, you know, the, yeah. the things that I get from people. Mm -hmm. um, so I do my absolute best to try and get that. Um, and on Valentine's Day, I was all like, "Love yourself before anyone else. You have to love yourself." And this isn't some cheesy quote or whatever. It's quite literally like you are stuck with yourself your entire life do you really want to be bitter and hate yourself your entire life it's not going to do you any good eventually you'll bore yourself out eventually you'll have to accept who you are and either choose to do something about it or just accept it and obviously the things that you can't control it's pointless to worry about it because you can't control it anyway but the things that you know you can do are the things that you should focus on and what I realized that day was that I could make people happy, but just by being me and just by being cheesy online, you know? I, I was making people happy by by being myself. And I honestly, I feel like it's... it's it, it, people say that like like it's a talent, but honestly, like I'm just honest and I'm just open. And I always just encourage other people to do it too and i feel like eventually you'll meet people that will like you for you you don't have to forcefully change your perspective on things either it's just like people will either like you or people will not like i don't know like I, the, like that day on valentine's day was <laughs> so cheesy it was so cute uh and that's what actually where the tuxedo came from so this one uh, and I, I modeled it for Valentine's Day specifically, and <laughs> on, on top of my crying on the Saturday, I think it was like a Sunday, the 14th, uh, I'm pretty sure, on February. Uh, <laughs> like that, I, I didn't have any tears left for me for like weeks after that, because like it was, it was one of the most cheesy uh, streams that I wish now I sort of archived, but I forgot about it. But it's still here, in my heart and in my mind. <laughs> I gotcha. Mm. So, uh, my next question that I have here is, uh, how did you get, how did it feel getting into VR for the first time, um, and, and eventually full body? Was it Ooh. weird where you're like, oh my god, motion sickness, or were you, or were you excited, were you, you know, anxiety? Um, huh. I, I, don't, I don't really remember? I, I mean, I remember I did have a little bit of motion sickness. Okay. But like... It wasn't too bad, to be honest. Uh, although, that being said, I was using the HTC Vive, which I do not like. Um, I feel like it was sort of enough to experience VR, but that's sort of it. Like, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone personally, uh, but if you want to uh, get it, go ahead. Okay. Um, when I got in VR, I, I, it was kind of immersive, like to an extent, but like I didn't feel like, whoa, what? It, it's crazy. I was just like, oh, this is neat. Like I can do things with it. And then I started like having all these ideas of what I could do by seeing like avatars that had like different toggles. I was like, wait, you can change your outfit? And now I'm sitting here with like 42,000 different, <laughs> like different toggles or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, obviously, they're not different toggles, but they're like combinations of things, you know, uh, that, that's what I meant with it. Uh, but still, like, uh, 
Shit, wait. What was the second part of that question again? I forgot. Wait. Uh, how, how did, uh, how first did it... In VR? Yeah, first appearance in VR and eventually full body. Because once you go from, like, half body, just be able to move your heads oh. and your head to full body is, like, the full immersion. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't like going in VR without full body. Unless, actually, unless I'm watching a movie. If I'm oh. watching a movie, I'd rather be in half body because then you can like take your blanket and just like, oh, oh, I love it. Comfy <laughs> time. Comfy as fuck, I fucking love that. Hell yeah. <laughs> as most of the people in chat too, they just like, uh, they do like a comfy check at like halfway stream and then they'll like get comfy and like get like, I don't know, hot cocoa or whatever the hell they want to get. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Snowfox. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it was very fun. Now, I, nowadays, I, I just want to get in full body, or I pretty much don't want to get in VR. Wish the tracking was better, though. <laughs> what is the the weirdest comment you've read from chat or DM, if you like to share? Like, any weird... You know, obviously, there's hate, but I'm talking about, like, weird comments. You're just like, what is that? Like, what the heck is that, dude? Oh, uh... uh... There's a plethora of different ones, actually. So there's there's people that like there's people that bring up stuff that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, which like I'm trying to sort of engage with uh, everyone in chat. So when I read something that is like completely different, it starts like people obviously hear what I say, and then it starts like a conversation about that. Um, I think the I think the, one of the weirdest and most uncomfortable like uh, like things that popped up was during a Friday where I think I was in a grass field because like haha funny cow I eat grass whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, but at the time, like people were very in my face, and like I do not like when people like boop me and like like aggressively pat me and aggressively approach me and like are very physical. I mean, I do have a bit of phantom sense, like, you know, like, I feel like if someone's in my face, I automatically, instinctively want to sort of pull away unless I liked him, you know? Um, so that stream was one of the least enjoyable streams because of that reason. And one of the weirdest things that they were talking about was gore. Like, straight up gore. And, like, obviously oh, that's heck? not... Yeah, it, it, was, it was, like, it was basically on the level of, like, a discussion you could find on... Like in on the dark web, and I was trying to not make it happen, but at the time I didn't have any moderators to do it for me. And every time I was trying to take action and chat, people in game would then aggressively try to get my attention or engage with me. So wow. I was sort of stuck in in between like the middle, if that makes sense. Yeah, and S Sam remembers. Sam remembers. It was a purely chaotic stream, and usually I'm fine with that. If it's some uh, someone like Snowy, Snowy is pure chaos, but he's funny. <laughs> I think it's funny. We have like a funny uh, interaction most of the time going on, but like. I don't know, like everything sort of pointed towards that being a bad day today, so I, I ended stream early. Uh, and I sort of just soldiered on and I, I did make some slight adjustments because like things like redeems were being spammed, etc uh, But still like now I think I'm in a good position some people complain that like why just like well, I don't know like 2500 or whatever to make you uh, do squats or whatever because that's also a redeem, right? Yeah. But then think about it if you have like 200 people watching and they all redeem squats at the same time that's 2,000 squats I have to do. Holy shit. I don't shit. exactly particularly like doing 2,000 squats while I'm trying to talk to my chat. And I think my cake's already big enough. Like, I want to be able to sit in here. I feel that. I relate to that. I mean, yeah. You look pretty... You look like you've worked out quite a lot yourself. I mean, I did, I did 3,000 squat once, but not all at once. It was over the course of, like, two months. And did like a hundred to two hundred a day. <laughs> Fucking that's man. that's how I got my index. That's how I got my full body. True story. You fucking work it. <laughs> yeah. Work it for working. Yeah. And yeah. then work it, for it by working it. And then when I got my model uh, at the time, I was getting a new outfit, and it was my workout outfit, which is when the one you saw before, where it says my name Rebel on the chest. Right. Right. That's the oh, that, that was one. that was the basically the reward. And when I got that made, let's just say my modeler uh, improved the nice. cake. I got a a lot nicer um, post squats. So. Uh, yeah. True story. 
but like exactly like people sometimes like oh, that's another thing like that cuts in what I, what you've said earlier like the weird comments people sometimes ask me flare why are you so fucking thick i'm like listen if you have the option to be either a stick man <laughs> or thick like what well, well, Oh, I, you know, like, what would you rather be? I'm like, I like looking at myself, and there's a lot of people, obviously, VR chat is sort of mirror simulator or whatever, but I think it's more of a uh, sort of a tool, a social tool, more so than okay. anything else. You can obviously make games and stuff and like adventure maps which i think is really clever too because like there's a bunch of like horror maps which are really well made like uh, uh what is it uh the devouring for example yeah really well uh made map recently did a uh, different map too which um unshattered destination that was the name uh yep. I, at first i didn't really dig it really but then i realized this is a world just just a world in a game so it's basically a game in a game mm -hmm. and that alone i can i can respect through and through because like i had my fun with it i actually did it with tokmi the one i do uh workout wednesdays with and uh, honestly uh, again like i sort of developed an appreciation for horror games specifically uh okay. and now i like doing them sometimes uh, because i think especially with my chat it's it doesn't feel as alone <laughs> You know, of so they're there, they're supporting me, but they're also sometimes scaring me with redeems. Like, uh, there's a dick redeem in in my uh chat, which just yells what dicks, like, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a redeem which just yells dicks, like, really, really oh. loudly in my ears out of nowhere. I thought, yeah. I thought a so foot long like... from Subway was gonna come out, dude. I was like, excuse me, oh, phew. no, God, damn, no, no. what the fuck? <laughs> at least not on stream, at least, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway. <laughs> so, like, when you're exploring a dark alleyway, and, uh, like, uh -huh. you have your chat there, and they redeem that out of nowhere, kind of gets to me sometimes, most of the time. Being chased by a monster? <laughs> Dicks! What the? Yeah, yeah, basically. Or, or, <laughs> there's actually a couple of really good examples there. There's a, per a person named Neric the Fox, who has the magical ability to always, uh, whenever I say something, and whenever I'm about to say uh, a verb, or yeah. whatever, like, or I say, like, oh, I could really use some, and then that thing gets redeemed, like, right, right after I say that. So obviously that's clip material. It's really funny. I, it's really funny. I'm really glad I got it. <laughs> I nice. forgot what the original question was, though. I think we did a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so it's sort of variety of everything, you know? Yeah, of course. So uh, I guess my one of my next question is, um, well, how did you end up meeting, you know, Tree Tree, Sig, and uh, Moss, and everybody else that you hang around with? How did that Moss? come to be? <laughs> Um, who? Okay. So. Siggy, I've known for the longest. Then it was Street, then it was Moss. Uh, Siggy has been one of the best friends and moderators I've had for like the longest time. And I feel like they should know that they are loved and appreciated and adorable. <laughs> oh, so fucking cute. Uh, Tree Tree, I've met through. What, was it Durgle's community? I'm not entirely sure. And then Moss uh, streams themselves. They, they, they actually have uh, something around 6.6k followers too. So technically nice. even more than me. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but they also have like a full-time job on top of that. I don't know how he does it. He, 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 crazy. But uh, yeah, it, yeah, insane. I have mad res respect for that. Yay! <laughs> I love you too, sweetheart. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how I met them, and uh, okay. every one of them is my moderator, but I don't like making other content creators my moderators too, because they have a lot on their plate already, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like, you know, well, yeah, it's kind of pointless. That's, that that's, what, uh, that's what VIP is for. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so what, that's what typically what I do. Like, moderators are actually, like, moderating, and then VIP is for, like, special guests and stuff like that. All right, friends. Very smart of Twitch. Ooh, yeah, that's right. You you, t you talked about that, where you want to make uh, things toggable, so only the guest and the uh, host could could walk in this specific area and stuff, so you could have it open for friends again and stuff again. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was more talking about specifically just Twitch, but you're talking about my world. Yeah, I talked about how in this specific studio, <laughs> I, I could, with like Udon and whitelisting, you can actually make it so like only like my username is like listed as the owner so I could do everything. But if you're like don't have any permissions, you can't even leave that stage. But right now they could because the permit that the system isn't in, but you could. It's a thing you can do in VR chat. <laughs> I really like that, and that's what I like about VRChat, and that's why I've also stayed for quite a while. I mean, I know that there's like, I've heard that, uh, was it shit off here? I don't know, that there's like a lot of customization there, and, and like, it's good and all, but like, I have a s soft spot for this game, if that makes okay. sense. And also, I have a lot on here and a lot of history in this game. Uh, so uh, everything that like I see other people do, w w whether it be creative and stuff like that, I like, or like the adventure maps and whatnot. Neos VR? Yeah. Or, or Neos, yeah, 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 Neos VR too. Right, yeah, fuck. I haven't even tried those yet. But I appreciate those. Yeah, the more the merrier, honestly. Awesome, well, so uh... It hurts to have some competition, yeah, you know? Of course, to, of course. Competition... Know, to make, to make the... Competition <laughs> makes, uh, for a healthy, um... I don't know how to describe the word, but basically... The classic example is Call of Duty. Oh, you know, yeah, development. It's like you know you have the classic example of like Call of Duty and Battlefield. They make games every year practically, and they're doing it because they're um, competitive and they have to constantly make a better product because you know if they don't, then the other company does oh. better. So if because they're constantly fighting each other, then they make better products, they make better games, and then the, at the end of the day, who wins is the consumer, right? If there's only one uh, right. game company yeah. or studio that's at the very top, there's nothing that competes with it. For example. VR chat and there's nobody else that's competing then they can do whatever the hell they want they can take 10 years yeah, to develop they, they something can get lazy and stuff. Yeah, yeah essentially like, yeah. Wow, after 10 years avatar is 4.0 what yeah they could do that but if there's competition we're like oh shit we're losing players we're losing subscriptions oh fuck you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. uh, you know, like uh, MMOs, like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. They have to constantly compete with each other and be like, oh, oh shit, we're God, losing yeah. subs, we're losing subs. Oh, shit, dude, we got to get a new expansion, dude. Got to stay creative, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole yeah, point. Yeah. yeah. Competition breeds creativity, <laughs> you know? Exactly. Anyway, uh, we're going to, it's been over an hour now, so we're actually going to start taking questions from the chat oh, slash audience. Has. Yeah, oh, I, sure. take, yeah. I, I, I do take a time or uh, to take a notice at time. So we'll start with the people in the actual audience. <laughs> Is anyone uh, from the actual audience like Moss, Siggy, and uh, Tree Tree have any questions? If you do, um, we can switch the camera and there actually is a microphone that will appear. So use the audience Q&A. And then um, I'm talking to my uh, There you okay. go. And then uh, the dead guy, click on the thing that says audience uh, voice override. Make sure that's checkmarked and then we can hear them clear as day. You might have to use that play space mover to move up. Like to, you know, there you go. <laughs> he's, he's so cute. All right. Wait, say something. It might be yeah, it works. I think, I think so, yeah. It is. Yep. It's working. What, what's the perfect I say, day? <laughs> My perfect day. I could say something very cheesy to you specifically, but uh, I'll generalize it a little bit more. Um, Let's see, a perfect day. I'm most of the people, I think, like, but, uh, like I just sort of discern VR a little bit from real life. So most of the people in real life, uh, they would, I think, want to spend like a day at like a restaurant or whatever, or like to the beach or whatever. I feel like I would, I would really like to just get away from everything and just be with that person for a while. Like, not even anywhere near society. Obviously get a, like, comfortable way to, you know, easily get back. Like a car or whatever, right? Um, like, obviously also bring plenty of snacks and whatever, and hopefully the weather isn't too shit. But, like, I feel like enjoying just me and that person without any other stimuli, I feel like is, uh, is very valuable. Um... An example actually I can actually give, which wasn't really a day, and it's a bit more complicated than that, but like when I went to um when I went to Spain uh for my end trip, like my there's like a the last year of school, everyone always goes to a country uh with their class, sort of to as like a bonding experience and sort of like, hey, this is your push into the real world, you know? 
Um, there's also an assignment attached to it, but like that assignment was pretty easy, so I didn't really mind. Um, but back then, I, since I didn't really have a lot of contact with anyone uh, from the same year, like the sixth year, I think like that, that was the last year, uh, I spent time with this one specific girl. Um, I'm not gonna name drop them again out of, you know, privacy. Um, but I spent a lot of time with them and for one reason or another we were very interested in each other and it was only like a temporary thing but like still at that time it felt so good to just be like you know what like i'm in this country i don't know there, there's so many different beautiful sides of mountainsides and like villages and like different cafes and stuff like that we went to i, I had plenty of money then too uh, that i earned myself at the time and that was so nice like just a completely different environment Mm -hmm. A completely different landscape that honestly like it makes me happy to be able to see that to be You know in a sort of like a privileged position where I could just like for example fly to Canada, which I've also done it, it, Yeah, that's where I'm from very very enjoyable hmm? That's where I'm oh, from really what part Ontario I went to uh, um, Halifax in Nova Scotia at the time. Oh, so that's shit. like the eastern Yeah, part. that's like, that's like uh, yeah, where all yeah, the fishermen yeah. are at, you know? That's where everyone's like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really far east. I uh, met up with a person that I was friends with uh, for about six years in total. Uh, I think six, seven years now. At, wait, six at the time. And then now, I think over 12 years. <laughs> so it's been a while. Um, but his name was Ben. And honestly, it was one of the most... One of the best experience, uh, experiences to get there. The flight there was a little bit wonky, but that's a whole other story. But like seeing like a different landscapes and seeing like what else is possible except for my the bubble that I'm used to, especially if you're sharing that with a person, ah, it's wonderful. <laughs> Even with all the stripes that come along with it. I gotcha. Any more uh, questions <laughs> from the audience in the actual world? If Sure. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, do you think you'll ever go back and finish your degree as a sort of proof of tenacity now that you're in a better headspace than you were then? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> oh, sorry, if, if people couldn't hear, the question was, would, would, would you finish your degree? And you said no. Oh, so. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah, basically, like, uh, he, he asked, like, whether I would finish it now that I'm in a better headspace. But... I don't really value. Like, I understand the need for people to sort of be to sort of you know, like get that right. Um, and I had the opportunity to, but even at the time, knowing that like literally all I really wanted to do was get by, it wasn't really valuable for me. I and now you. that I don't really have to worry about that, it doesn't really feel like. It doesn't feel like it's worth my time. If that makes sense. I could I could spend like four to six months and in some like grown up like whatever, uh, whatever the fuck you call it, like grown up uh, education. I think it's called. Uh, right. They have a thing here in Belgium. College. For it. Mm. Well, Adult not learning. Specifically college, but like you can night classes. Yeah, it, it's not. It, it, I think so. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, it is a specific thing in Belgium, and I don't know the d direct translation for it because my the part where I live is Dutch, okay. and translating things from Dutch to English sometimes is a bit weird. Uh, uh, I just don't think it's really worth it. My time, I could I could spend all of that time uh, chasing something for a paper and a handshake, and then what? Like I, I learned how to do one thing, but I, if anything, like I've learned more by myself, just messing around in Unity and Blender and looking up things that I actually care about, yeah. than I do just sitting there eight hours a day just staring at some old lady or guy like nagging that they ca that they can't give uh, like teach lessons like. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> this one teacher, yeah, I, I had this one fucking teacher, and I still remember to this day. She took always half her lesson time, like half an hour time, to explain why she didn't, uh, why she wasn't able to teach. So, so I, it's super ironic because she's sitting there wasting time explaining all this garbage while she could be teaching us instead of just being assertive and 
like shut up let me talk and listen you know that's all you have to say you don't have to like you know oh woe is me i can't teach or whatever and the, the thing was we only had one hour each week from that person so it, i think it was like science class or whatever but like in artist school it like barely fucking matters you know i mean it's uh -huh. interesting most of the things are interesting but like she sat there <laughs> nagging at it for like over like almost sometimes the entire lesson and she was like all right so basically everything that i wasn't able to teach today you're gonna have to do by uh, yourself at home and they were like oh great cool thanks <laughs> wow what the hell kind of school is this when i went to college uh each uh, class was three hours long oh my god yeah. that would have been way better <laughs> Yeah, that was me in college. Three hours in the same classroom doing whatever. So, uh, next question. Uh, I think someone else, Siggy or somebody else, said uh, they wanted to take a question. Siggy! <laughs> me. Look at this beautiful bean. Yeah, it works. Yes, it is. It's working. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, have you considered going to like a convention in the future, like TwitchCon or just a FurryCon to like meet up with some of the community more, like in real life? <laughs> I definitely, I, I, I definitely, definitely want to. I definitely want to at some point uh, I, uh, meet up with. Uh, def uh, first and foremost, most you guys, right? The people that I'm closest to, uh, uh, and then give people the opportunity to also meet me in real life. Uh, like I'm, I'm not shy in real life. I uh, streaming quite frequently uh, yeah. made me a lot more extrovert and like. If you're gonna oh, hate me, you're gonna there's hate me. a like, lot I'm not gonna of go, you. Like, crawl on my fucking knees, <laughs> you know, okay. to try and get your approval. I it's honestly all of whatever. You at once. Also, so, so Snowy just rated you. Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that. Thank you so much, Hi, Snowy, everyone. for the raid. I appreciate that. Currently at the interview <laughs> of VRC Flair. So hey, if you haven't already and join the stream, you can always hit that follow button. Anyway, um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I definitely want to go to a uh, a furry convention in the future. I, mm -hmm. It could be any convention technically. I don't think it needs to specifically be for be furry, but like like as like I said, as much as I like the whole furry thing, um, and I am a furry and I'm openly a furry and I don't don't care. I definitely feel like. It shouldn't be like a character trait, if that makes sense. You know, as ironic as it is making my own character, mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel like I want to be defined just by, oh, all he really is is a cute little furball. That's it. No, there's more to me than that. And I make people that, uh, like, I make people clear that, like, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they can talk to me and they get, can get to know me. And that's especially why I would want, want to meet people in real life, too. Like, uh, like Siggy said, yeah. I don't okay. know which one though. Like, if I if I find one that which is like more local or more European, it would be a lot better than flying over to America because that's more expensive. And I actually haven't had my uh, vaccine yet, so oh Vac shit. vaccination. Sorry. Do you don't have your vaccine? You're standing yeah, like six feet that. away from me. Oh fuck, dude. Listen, I'm double vaxxed. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck, no. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Don't cough on me, man. Cover up. Cover your mouth, dude. Cover your mouth, dude. He's infected, man. Oh, he's infected. Bring him down. Where's the shotgun? That's the thing about VR chat, too. Like, especially during the time of the pandemic, uh, pandemic, it was so important to, like, you know, sort of keep your brain active. Sort of keep socializing with people. And... In VR, that was possible. In, mm -hmm. in real life, there was a lot more trouble, and you could get, like, fine and shit for it, and obviously, you could, you could also quite literally get sick from it and die, and that would be yeah. be bad. Um, but in VR, like, a lot <laughs> of the problems aren't as obvious. Uh, so a lot of the the issues aren't, like, at face value. Like, you could have someone that's technically, like, paralyzed from the waist down, but, like, they could just seem like they have half body, you know, in, 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 in VR, and no one would ever know. Um, Speaking of that, I actually met someone I, that was yeah. like that three and a half years ago when I first started playing VR chat. Um, I, did, I didn't know, um, but they, they told me after a while. Uh, I don't want to say the specific person, but basically um, we were hanging out in VR and um, uh, it, you can kind of tell when people are sitting in a chair like I do, where you can see like the armrest, you know, kind of like this stance. So I was like, so um, I was like, oh, hey, you're just chilling. And they're like, yeah, I'm just sitting in my chair. And then eventually, after knowing them for a while, they, they eventually told me that they're actually uh, in a wheelchair. They're paralyzed from the waist down. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't know. Like, I never would have known because in VR, like, you're, you know, you look yeah, like you're yeah. standing. 
all the time and they're like yeah I, they said like in the first time in their life they never feel like they have to like people have to look down on them like they're always like i'm on the same level no one knows about my disability and i was like damn that's that's vr that's the future right there you know yeah yeah and uh, and hopefully in the future uh it's nice as, as sort of a remedy. I, I'm, I'm not saying you should use it as an escape, and obviously you can do whatever the hell you want, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't use it as an escape. I use it sort of to express myself and to be creative. But for people like, for people like that, it can be necessary to just be able to talk to someone like that. Uh, I, feel, I feel like the ability for him to just be seen as like someone that has equal value to everyone yeah, else uh, mm -hmm. is yeah yeah absolutely I, if it, just, just be nice to people please <laughs> like it's not it's not that hard like whether whether you're like disabled or, or or like you have some mental disorder or like you like a specific thing or whatever like you don't have to like judge someone just based on like what they prefer to do exactly like that's up to them 100%. Like, yeah but, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll start taking questions yeah, from really the nice. from the Google document here because uh, we have a bunch here and I want to get through them ooh, ooh, before ooh, uh, we end. So first question we have here is from Cool Game One O Two O or Zero. Uh, <gasps> what was your favorite interaction with a VR chat player? My favorite. <gasps> I remember. I remember. I remember. Okay. So. <clears throat> so. Um. I don't usually have uh, that people really freak out. I was like, oh my god, is that DVRC flare? Oh, whatever. I've only had that technically once, but it was the sweetest thing mm -hmm. I've ever experienced. Like, in, 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 well, other than like the whole, like, you know, the, obviously chat supporting me and stuff, but like in VR, right? And from person to person. <laughs> yeah. I, Okay, whatever. They, they know I talk about this a lot, so it's. I think it's fine to, to say. The name is Loopy VR. They are really fucking cute. They're a small blue Hopkin with like rainbow hair. It's uh, inspired from Rainbow Dash from uh, My Little Pony, I think. Yeah. Uh, point being, like, like they they do their own thing, and I met them through Bardic too, which I talked about earlier too. And it was at Bardic's free K events, like the free thousand follower events, because we like to celebrate and be like, yeah, we made it this far. Yeah, let's go. You know, um, I met Loopy there uh, in, in a beach world and like the way they approached me, like super carefully and like, like carefully, like said like high flare and stuff like that and, like super timid and super shy it was like the most precious thing i've like ever Aww. seen in my life <laughs> and they were like freaking out and stuff i was like playing around it a little bit but obviously like i, I don't want to be like oh really you know like i don't want to like rub it in but honestly oh. one of the most like heartwarming moments like mm -hmm. the pure enthusiasm to see me like unfiltered like that it was so precious that that was one of my uh nicest moments i've ever had in, in vr and it was also a day where we were celebrating anyway so i was like to intoxicated as, as hell at the time so that helped too <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. uh next question we have here uh is from uh cool cool game again 1020 are you looking at any games to play for this year or for the next year? Uh, I unfortunately don't really keep up with most games, like like game news specifically, or even news in general. Okay. Uh, I stopped watching the news like years ago, and it, it made me happier because... Most Fake of the time news, brother. Stuff anyway. Fake news. I don't yeah. listen to that damn news. Fine. Tell you what, yeah. goddamn, what the hell? Build that wall. Sorry, go ahead. It's so dumb. <sighs> I was role playing. <laughs> Got yourself up there. <laughs> uh, so like, uh, I feel like people f f focus so much on the negative, like that they can't control anyway. And the news was basically doing that so much that I was like, nah, I, I don't want to. Like, right? nah. But unfortunately, I don't really have any input or like sources of like what games are gonna come out. Okay. So I really want to uh, like be no more worry. knowledgeable about that, but I, I honestly don't know. But most of the time, it's like my. my since I have people, like, we're like a collective uh, hive mind. It's like they, they put input information in me, and I go, yes or no. <laughs> I go, Brr. My next, uh... I mean, it works, like, they... 
oh, question here. Like we can, we, we're gonna rapid fire for this because we're gonna run out of time. So you don't have to like. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. So next question is from Polly Mellon. Uh, the question is, what's your opinion on uh, wet socks? In quotations. Unsay that right now. I hate that's an insider. I hate that question. I'm not answering that. Fuck you. Fuck you. No. no, no. Okay. What? I, uh, okay. Rapid fire, right? Bunny, uh, VRC Bunny, love him to bits and pieces, but uh -huh. he likes to take, he likes to take a bath with his fucking socks on. I likes to take pictures of it as like, ah, oh, yes, lovely wet socks, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why would you take a bath with your thigh highs up? What is wrong with you? Whatever. He likes it. I, I don't want to judge him. But <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Uh, so okay. now people are saying that like quite a lot in, in my chat too, and I'm just like, nah. So that's my answer. Fuck. <clears throat> that's all I'm saying on that. Okay. Anyway. Um. Maxi slash Winter asked the question, Sir, I do. Bo mm. I do wonder. Have you ever violated the law? You ever break the law in your life? I have. I mean, I'm obviously not proud of it, um, but since <laughs> I share with this, uh, I'm, it's not like I'm trying to justify it. I know it was wrong. Uh, what I did wasn't really very bad. It, it was petty theft, basically. It was <gasps> like a Mars bars or whatever. I you stole some wet socks? Yeah, so I, I fucking knew it, criminal. Walk Ew, on. what the fuck? But no, I said a Mars bar. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Mars bar. <laughs> Yeah, you just misheard, you know, a common yeah, mistake. You I know, wanted to hear what I wanted to hear. Sense. The wet socks, that's what I really wanted to hear. So, so basically, um, like, I'm not going to go too much detail about it, but I've been very, very poor 90% uh -huh. uh, of my life. Uh, and only, uh, most of the time I just earned to live. Uh -huh. uh, but since back then I had expenses for both food when I went to school and the stuff I needed to uh, buy for drawing specifically, uh -huh. um, I thought I could just get away with it. But obviously, like, I, it's not like I'm proud of it, but like, I didn't have anything and I also didn't have any actual food with me a couple of times, so I just drank some at the time uh but that was back when i was 18 i've learned from that i i Yoink. was arrested obviously for that yeah and i i, I did pay it off obviously like mm -hmm. but yeah like you know you make mistakes and you learn and i think that's how we do your, uh, people. your Although, sneaking skill <laughs> wasn't high enough to steal the mars bars you know Shit. Uh, you gotta level it up. Guy. Yeah, yeah, you should have leveled up first. You should have gotten your speech skill to like a hundred. Then you would have been like, "I didn't steal that. I dropped it, and then it's putting it back." Oh, clearly, come on, man. Let's All right, carry on, citizen. Carry, carry on, citizen. Oh, did you hear about the high elves? What? <laughs> did you hear about the high elves? <laughs> I should have gone for the fucking Snickers bar. I knew it. <laughs> I know. They would have oh gotten God. away. Yeah, they, they definitely arrested you for because you chose a Mars bar, dude. Like, come on, not a Kit Kat, dude. What it, the it's, fuck? it's so it, it's so obvious. I should have seen it. <laughs> uh, uh, this question yeah, comes no, from the only time I disobey the law. Uh, Dia Delinium. I, I, sorry if I mispronounced oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, Flair, what cake? That's all it says. Flare what cake? Yeah. Cake butt. Butt good. I like butt. Butt not lie. That's my answer. There you go. <laughs> Next question comes from uh, the Sam KBD99. Oh! Sam. Now that you are a partner now, what do you have planned for your community before your community decides to make you cry tears of joy five more times? Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> They've already done that. <laughs> They've already done that. I'm gonna have a, a, a I'm gonna have a really really pee big pee pee, a what? really big partner party. Oh, yeah, okay. partner party, a pee pee, uh -huh. like a giant pee pee, and everyone's invited on my pee pee. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to also have a celebration on Halloween. And on the 10k celebration thing, uh, which eventually will happen, but like, since I have partner now, I don't really have to worry about it, if that makes sense. 
True. So, like, I don't really have to... Like, I can take my time with things, and that was sort of the only hurdle I wanted to get over uh, before I started focusing on... Well, I mean, other things. Like, I've been hyper-focusing on like VR chat for the longest time because I know it works like people like to see it, people like to vibe people like to talk and stuff like that uh, but still like now that I have that people also sometimes buy me games and those games I am obviously going to play but most of the time like my time is very limited with what I can do yeah so yeah yeah probably just play games and have fun and you know enjoy my community while it lasts or before I, I don't know, die. It can happen too. Like, <laughs> I hope not. But still. I have big PP energy every day. Hell yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, next question. Uh, Cozy Joe sixty asks the question: Is Flair cute? You know what? Let me let me answer that. All right, moving on. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Cyberchimp yeah. asked the question: <laughs> Flair, notice me, butt senpai, angry monkey noises. <laughs> I thought it was a chimp. Didn't they say angry chimp noises? Come on, yeah. you got to role play a little yeah, better. Yeah, you know? Come on, man, he's a chimp, not a monkey. Angry. <laughs> Uh, he, 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 what was it? Like, I get featured in his videos a lot. Uh, uh like, I mean, I say a lot, but like, like, he joins, he joins on the workout Wednesday and he sometimes joins on me too. And like, most of the time he makes, uh, avatars to get like reactions out of people, but most of the time they're pretty funny. And like, their, their com video compilations are also pretty funny. You've been noticed. All right. I noticed you, champ. You can, you can sleep now. It's fine. I'll give you lots of head pets later. Here. I have some, some love. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, he's angry. He's angry. Ah, no, he's angry. What did I do? <laughs> Next question comes from Void Space Tentacles. Nice name. If you could uh, talk with your past yeah. self about your stream, what would you say? This could be for both the guest and the host. A question for me? Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Finally. Do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, I'll reread it again. Uh, if you could talk to your past <laughs> self about your stream, what would you say? Like be for both the host and the guest. So if I if I could talk to my past self, like my my uh, you know me three four years ago before I am today, I guess what I would say to myself is to like never give up and never um, never surrender because uh, three years ago I was in a dark place as a streamer where I was very depressed. And I would stream and like never feel anything. And I would do all these really like before I did interviews, I'd do all these different types of ideas. Like I tried to do talent shows and it never worked out. Like every every idea I had would just fall flat. And I would just be like, wow, I spent like 40 hours on this and, and it never got anything out of it. Why did I waste my time? And then I'd get depressed. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I guess for me, I would say just keep pushing forward and, and, and do what you love and you know, I guess if I wanted to speed run it, I would just be like, hey, just, just do interviews instead of whatever the hell you were doing at the time. <laughs> Trust me, it'll work out for you. That's what I would have told myself. Sure, yeah, yeah I've been like, just just do the interviews the four years ago, you know? It would, you know, that's what I would have told myself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the VR community has grown over time. So now there's like, there's a lot of different uh, people that like also know you uh, because actually, so. A little, 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 little bit of a uh, slideshow. I got approached by uh, Kimmy Cat VR, and she knows you. Uh, and obviously, like, she's very shy, and she wouldn't just go out of your way to uh, bother you. Uh, but she's a big fan of you, and uh, she's like, oh my god, it was a dream of mine to uh, get interviewed by a rebel. You're so lucky. And I'm like, what? That's so cute. I'll make sure to let Damn. him know. <laughs> Damn, okay. All right. Yeah. Now I know. Yeah, yes, yeah, and I, f I feel like uh, things like that should definitely be mentioned too. That that's why I like be be open, you know, be kind, and like you can make someone's day by just fucking smiling my day. and being stupid like me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's a big fan of you, and uh, I, I really, really appreciate that too. Uh, great person, by the way. If you ever get the chance, like if 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 she ever gets noticed enough or whatever, I recommend it. So definitely, I would recommend. She's a very sweet girl. Uh, point is, for me personally. Um, if I were to be able to go back 
to what I did. I, I, I feel, like I said, like I feel like I wasted a lot of time just being there. And the fear of judgment was always sort of clouding my will to do anything. And now that I don't fear that anymore, obviously you can't just be I'll go up to someone and be like, just don't be scared. What like forehead? Like what are you doing? Like you know that doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh, I feel but that. Yeah, like just honestly, like the more you expose yourself to situations you you know you're technically uncomfortable with. Uh, but you want to do, like you want to go on stage and you want to entertain, the more you'll get used to that and the more you just are com more comfortable doing those things and are more comfortable in your own skin. And then eventually that grows. Like you can't just, you can't really technically shortcut that either because I feel like if you were to be able to go back in time to how you were, mm -hmm. the problem with that is like you got to the point where you are now because of the mistakes you made. True. And because I am in a really good position right now, I do appreciate uh, the time that I did spend thinking a lot. And uh, obviously, most of the time I was overthinking because I didn't really do much. Mm -hmm. But now that I got here and people appreciate me, I can appreciate myself more because of it. Yeah, that's my, that's my take on it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, next question. Yeah. Dia uh, asked. Uh, it's from the sorry. The question's from Dia. They asked the question. Flair, why do you call your viewers shooting stars? Uh, so this goes back into the day before Valentine's Day. Uh, the day before Valentine's Day. Uh, this was also inspired by that. It's Daxon's my biggest uh, supporter who donated the most, and back then I think he donated like five six hundred i think that day alone nice. uh, um he made me realize that what what i was doing was actually mattered uh and it was in a world uh, it was in a lake world where there's a sort of like a platform in the middle of the lake uh where you can go um and the platform had like a roof and stuff but the point is like in the backgrounds there were all these like shooting stars just passing by it was like a star starry valley kind of like lake world um but that happened in that world and i, I talked about a bit about this on my uh partner stream too like right after i got partner mm -hmm. um, but essentially because of that like i i called them my shooting stars because it, because they made my wishes come true Ooh. that's why damn and that's cute yeah and I finally felt like I belonged somewhere and like I had a home somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and because of that world and because of like how thematic it was at the time, uh, it sort of grew into a part of what my community stands for. Uh, that, that, that every one of my community members is like a star in my sky lighting up my world, basically. And if I were to be able to make, uh, I, I say this quite a lot, but I think it's cheesy and it's true. If I were to be able to make a wish, I'd decline it because I already have everything that I ever wanted from you guys. That's why. That's why. <laughs> nice. Uh, this question comes from Snow Fox. Uh, could you ask Flair about the hamster meme in his channel? Inside joke of a good story. <laughs> The hamster meme. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so th there's like a two second clip of a guy saying hamster with like an echo. That used to be my follow notification. Okay. <laughs> it's a really, really old meme in January. Like I wasn't even like aware that it was still going to be around. Essentially, I used to take video requests while I was doing stuff. But then it got a little bit too much, so I like, you know, slimmed it down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but mm -hmm. one of the videos, like, I was in a state of mind where, like, nothing I was doing was working in ARC, and I kept on dying and shit, and, like, we kept on trying to do stuff stuff that didn't really work out. And, like, I was in this weird state of mind where I was just, like, laughing at everything, and <laughs> then someone sends me... Uh, was it bacon or... Uh, uh, no, it was... Hy was it hyper? It was hyper. It was hyper crafting. Uh, Hypercrafting redeemed a, uh, a video which was just hamster, and I just <laughs> lost it. I was like laughing for like <laughs> 30 minutes straight or whatever for like no particular reason other than me just, I don't know, like 
<laughs> numb. Like my mind was numb, and ever since then it was my follow notification. It's still like a like a sound alert thing that people can do. Uh, but yeah, it's sort of like nostalgic. It, like a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people recognize hypercrafting for that alone. <laughs> Yes. Big memesters in the community. Yeah. <laughs> next, next question is from uh, Snowfox again. Ask Flair about how the inside meme of Obama first started. Well, I don't even remember. Uh, I think it was just like. Wait, what was it? What was it again? I think it like at some point no 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 i remember i remember I, th I think i'm not entirely sure and correct me if i'm wrong but i think it's because like uh what was it, uh, how do I, it, it wolfie little wolfie underscore that's also someone i know uh he used to give me random subs to like meme accounts and one of the uh, meme okay. accounts he first did was obama and then he started doing michelle like you know like oh, obama's michelle, wife obama. and then okay. like the kids and then the entire obama family was a part of like d the smug club <laughs> and then like be like other uh, subs too but basically snow fox now every time he joins me he has to at least go in one obama avatar like, and he just always stands in the background, like, just staring at the camera. Just always in the corner of your eye, like, like somewhere over there on that roof, right, right behind me or whatever, you would just see, like, a, a picture of Obama, just, like, looking down at you, judging you. <laughs> it, it's so stupid and so silly, but it's so funny. <laughs> there it is, there yeah, it is, yeah, a, I can see yeah. you, Snowfox. <laughs> Mama, emotes. Oh, no. Um, Goldie on stream asks the question. This is an interesting <laughs> one. If if you shave all the fur from a furry, is it still technically a furry? What? What? Why would you? Why would you do that? Why would you? Do, don't do, don't do that. I don't, I don't know. I'm not the one who makes those definitions. I'm sorry. Don't don't fucking don't don't put a razor blade next to me. I swear to God, I will bite and I bite hard. Okay, I don't like that. I mean, I guess technically, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't inherently change who they are, but yeah. they're not furry anymore. So you took the furry from furry. That's that's it's furry. That's like going on a football Uri. field and taking like a needle and putting like flattening the football and then they're just like playing with a pancake or whatever. <laughs> don't do that. Fuck you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I, I still. Thanks for coming <laughs> over to me. One sec. Do you, you, like you see? Well, Shane, thanks room? so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Doing uh, the interview of VRC <laughs> Flair. I think, in my opinion, if you were, because like there are such a thing as like hairless cats and like hairless dogs and things like that, and that's technically oh, yeah, yeah, still yeah. a dog or an animal or a furry. So like. And, and there are a subsection of, um, you know, there are people called, you know, scalies where it's like, you know, your, your, your persona yeah, is, being, yeah, but, uh, yeah, like you're like a lizard person. Yeah. So that's not a fur, you know what I mean? That's a subcategory. <laughs> so, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I, I think you still classify as a fur, you're just hairless. Yeah. Yeah. You, you actually, yeah, you're kind of right about that. But I was thinking about that, but like at the same time, I'm not the one who makes those definitions. Yeah, exactly. like, I, like I can play around, like giving my opinion on it, but I, I, yeah, like you said, like there's hairless cats, so technically, yeah, I think furry just refers to the whole, basically, animal, humanoid yeah. animal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can be a bird. I mean, like, I know some people are birds. Like yeah. that's that's their that's their character. Like a bird person. That's not fur. That's feathers. Yeah. Like avian or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken, chicken people, or like people are like harpy <laughs> ladies, man. They got like half human, half harpy, you know. Like, I don't know. Is that a fur? Just, yeah. I think it's you know, it's whatever you wanted to be, man. Let's be Thanks, real. Thanks, sweetheart. For using yeah. your Twitch I don't think it technically me. matters. It's just like just uh, some people are like specifically go out of their so way, and I know love, some love, of them personally, love. and I don't expect them to be here right now. But some people go out of their way to sort of avoid being called furry at all costs uh -huh. and i think that's kind of dumb too like you can still enjoy something casually it doesn't mean you automatically are associated with everything else True. like you know there's like uh avatars with have like cat ears and a cat tail but like they're humanoid yeah. that's perfectly fine 
all I am saying is that those body parts, specifically, they are furry. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. So coming up to me, just lounging at like the bear, because this happens too, right? If you're uh -huh. just in a public world, which I used to do way more often, uh, and you're just like lounging in front of the mirror with your friends, music blasting, whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, and someone, some bloke comes up to you and is like, Oh, what are you doing? Like a bunch Oi, of mate. stupid furries. Or Oi, yeah. Oi yeah. mate. Yeah, Oi, bro. Like, what the fuck? Because like, oh, do you have intercourse with animals or something? I was like, bro, are you fucking like two years old? Like, Jesus Christ. Sounds it's, like a three head. It's so weird. Like, it, oh my God. Oh, dude. It, it's, it's so weird to me. Because like, not only are they being like, completely oblivious that they're using things that are technically furry yeah but they're they're also it's so unnecessary like like what the fuck did i ever do to you that, you know they just want attention more often than not if they have ears and a tail you could say that they're like 20 percent furry yeah yeah I, I mean i would also say like it's somewhere in the range of like 10 to 20 percent furry right yeah like, especially if there's no humanoid ears which i think it's also weird if you combine both but whatever um but some people are so, like, particular with not being wanting to be called a furry that they go out of their way to sort of neglect everything that I'm saying just so they're not, like, in the same category as me. And I'm like, okay, so am I that bad? Like, am I not an example of what a casual furry is? Because I'm not, like, pushing it down your throat. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if I was a human avatar, you'd like, be, I'd be basically exactly the same like you are. So it makes no difference. All, all, the only reason why I'm using this one is because I think it's cute. I'm not saying I am, though. I think the avatar is. <laughs> I got you. The next question comes from Starlight Toaster. If you saw a shooting star, what would your wish be? Like I said, <laughs> nothing. I already have everything I ever wanted because of you guys. <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't know, maybe less disease would be nice. <laughs> less disease? Yeah, less diseases, please. Yeah, just like some. <laughs> just less, less diseases. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah, come on. What the hell? What is, what, what, what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, can't we all just, like, be immune to all diseases and just live for, like, a thousand years? Like, come on, like. Fuck. That would have their own set of issues, but yeah. At least you could take your time to like find the right person to, you know, if you it, it, procreate with. Yeah. <laughs> That's like yeah. Lord of the Rings. No, aren't they, like, aren't some of those elves like 5,000 years old? They're like, ah, oh, it's just my wife I've had for 4,000 years. And I'm like, okay, dude. Uh, <laughs> if I live somehow forever i would not want to have one partner i feel like that would get very stale very fast like no if, I, think, I think nowadays i'm more poly because i've tried mono before like mono relationships yeah, but all of them sort of fell flat yeah i don't know it feels like a lot of commitments for not a lot of payoff because like you're just sort of like tying yourself down it's or, just, I don't know, or you just don't it. date, or you just don't date anyone, and you just, you know, you just, you just have a, you know, a cuddle bottle, you know, you just have the boys, you know, have the, yeah, yeah, you, know. you, you don't, you don't necessarily need a significant. I, I think, I think that's dumb. Like, you don't necessarily need a significant other. I'm now more happy than I've ever been, just being myself, focusing on myself. That's why I think it's so important to love yourself first. Just have so a lot of life. Make it so you can take pride in what you do. You know. Yeah. It feels so good. <laughs> Just have all the husbandos and all the waifus you ever want all at once. Yeah. <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All of them at the same time. Also, thank you, Lachey, for the three months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, flop, flop, flop. So, uh, let me see here. I think we'll start. Is there any other questions from the chat? I know there's a couple more in the Google documents. I just want to see if anyone in the chat chat, you know, is wants to answer your mm -hmm. questions. Or if you have any questions for me, Flair, we're, we're almost two hours in, so might as well start asking them. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me see. I, I think I had two questions. I, I wasn't entirely sure. So I, I haven't really seen you, um, like, like, I don't really actively explore 
uh, Twitch to find like specific like niche uh, things. But I haven't really seen you, and I think that might be due to the fact that like obviously you're from America, so you might start later. Uh, then I am willing to get on Twitch and explore, if that makes sense. Sure. Uh, yeah. So, what, what what do you feel like about your work now? Like, are you are you proud of what you've done? Because I I feel like you should be. I feel like this is a really nice setting and it's been really nice so far. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Like, what do you what do you think about your position now? Um, I'm absolutely ecstatic. I mean, like, I've done this interview show for almost two months. Or, sorry, sorry, two years, not two months. Yeah, only two months, guys. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, no, two years, sorry. Next. In two months yeah, in yeah, two damn, years. that's a lot of interviews. Holy shit, 258 <laughs> interviews in two months? God damn, holy shit, speedrun. Uh, no, I done, uh, <laughs> next month is, uh, two years from me. I think it was, I started my, it was, like, late September. It was, like, September, like, 20-something. Uh, in 2019 mm -hmm. is when I started doing these interviews uh, ever since. So I've done about, you know, 258 now. So I'm definitely really proud of what I do. And uh, I've already, um, I guess I'm going to hint at it now. But let's just say I, in the past week, I've been very, very, very busy with a lot of business meetings in, in and out of VR chat. And basically, we're going to overhaul this world. So if you think this world's impressive now, uh, in next like probably Ooh. within within the next like six months, it, it's not going to it's going to be a while. But um, let's just say there's going to be a lot more different stages, a lot of different type of content coming here, not just interviews and pod podcasts, but you know, uh, fashion shows, um, oh. debates, <gasps> right. uh, improv right. nights, right. Right. all these different ideas. And they're actually going to start uh, flourishing and start uh, developing. And also, this camera system is going to get reworked to the point where uh, the ca like the camera will actually oh, yeah. like move in real time and actually have a person like zoom in and zoom out and like you know have more direct control over what they can do. So they can like zoom in on your face and like zoom out and whatever, like a real camera person, oh, like, like a real like camera operator. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be really cool. Yeah. So um, interesting. And then with the group system in VR chat coming out, I'll actually have a proper audience and. Uh, have like the the whitelisting system so then you know randoms can't join in and you have to be like vouched for and you know that stuff and then i can make it so they can only be you know in that area there's a lot a lot of things uh in, in the works it just it takes a lot of time sounds exciting yeah, absolutely oh uh, yeah yeah uh, obviously like you know more so than anyone else um like when you are arranging things for a stream, uh, arranging collabs, looking for new creative things you could do or add. Uh, like for me as well, like it takes up a lot of time and a lot more so than people might realize uh, because most of what I do is either for the community, around the community or content, mm -hmm. uh, like reaching out to other communities you know like it's nice to be able to see what else is out there so i don't just i don't just create this bubble and i'm only stuck in this bubble where i only know what's inside of it you know i, I like to i like to like explore my options you know uh make new assets and whatever so you know know more than anyone else that like that alone takes up a lot of time let alone streaming like streaming as well like it's like quite literally the time you stream that matters you know uh especially the the time like where you shine the brightest it 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 it, it it's sort of like the peak of what you want to do yeah absolutely so that takes up a lot of time yeah but i like that i, I like i like working around that and it motivates me to do more absolutely. Uh, especially seeing the cute little worlds like uh, I, I i hope you don't mind but like when I went to Canada and I saw the like cute little houses and like the lights and stuff, what I imagine is like, what does that family go through like on a daily life? Like their lives are so vastly different to mine. Mm -hmm. Like just based on what they see and sense and feel, like maybe their mom, I don't know, like bakes something with garlic every morning or something. So the first thing they smell is garlic every morning, you know? Like some like little details like that or like, like, that makes me interested in other people and what they took from this life and i want to expand my horizons in that way and i feel like uh, as long as we like that alone obviously takes up a lot of time and like as long as we stay open-minded to things we can like explore things that we've never seen tasted hear, heard uh i don't know touched before you know like it, it's it's great it's great i love my job <laughs> no, i feel you what was the what was the other question you had? You said there were two. Oh right, right, right. Um, 
Yeah, so the other question is like, uh, besides the whole uh, streaming thing and uh, what you like to do and engage with your audience and stuff and uh, expand to other, you know, uh, groups of people, um, what what's something that interests you besides that? Like, what what do you like to get engaged or what are you really interested in? Is there any like other major uh, things in, in, in life itself that like really uh, get you going? You mean like outside of streaming? Is that the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So outside of streaming, what interests me? I guess um, uh, as a kid, uh, my family, we, we, we own a cottage, so we would go up there every year. I haven't been there for a while because, like years, because I've just been focusing on school, life, you know, adult stuff. But I, I would enjoy going up there and to like go fishing and like just walk around and go hikes and stuff like that. Like be in 100% nature. Like we're talking about like, it's not like I'm just outside oh the goodness. city going to a park. This is like, wilderness you know you walk outside and you're just yeah, chilling and you, you can't hear like cars or anything the air is much more fresher you look up at the stars and you see all the stars at night like, if i'm in the city i can't see no stars because all the smog oh, so my goodness. so i get to see all that and you know go out on the boat and go fishing and then just chill there and start fishing for like two three hours and like there's not a sound to be heard except for some you know fish every so often and, you sure you know, spreading your load <laughs> everywhere like that. Thanks, Holy darling. smokes, Nirik Def Fox. Thank you for supporting, sweetheart. Thanks so much for the yeah. five tier one. Get this <laughs> up. Thank you, so thank, much, you thank you. Mwah. Thank you. I thank appreciate you. that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just doing things like that, or um, um, you know, I would like to go to conventions and stuff like that. You know, I have a passport. Never left the country, but I have a passport for like five years. <laughs> but you know, COVID sort of uh, <laughs> stopped that. It's, you know, dead in the tracks. But I think in the next year or two, maybe I'll go to TwitchCon. Maybe I'll go to like PAX East or. Um, and my conventions Ooh. and stuff like that, you know, I watch anime, you know, I'm like, wow, I'm a weeb too. You know, maybe I want to go do that or yeah, like yeah. go out and meet things, you know, <laughs> well, well, okay. go to some yeah, that's festivals, what I was saying you know, too, is music. <laughs> or, or you step like right above the border, like right after COVID, it's like, stop, you violated the law. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Pay your crimes. <laughs> Pay your crimes. I it's didn't so do dumb. it. It's so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad that like people are getting vaccinated now and it's now like dimming down a little bit. It gives it gives us hope because in 2020 itself uh oh there was barely any hope. Like it yeah. was already bad enough the whole situation and then like mm -hmm. everything with the GPUs and me trying to upgrade at the time and not being able to find anything was kind of annoying too. But hey, we're in a better position now. So, let's celebrate that. Fuck it. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Just a reminder if anybody <laughs> hasn't uh, oh yeah sorry go ahead. i was gonna just say like quickly if anybody is out there just watching casually hey hit that follow button you're gonna know when i go live i have more interviews planned in the future like i said i'm also like 300 away or something like that from like 25,000 followers if you have a twitch oh, prime wow, gaming really? sub you know you can use it on me i'm also like 10 subs away from my goal 300 subs so if you, you don't have to, but you know, it's an option. Also, all my interviews are on YouTube. So estimation point interviews or estimation point talk show. There's a bowl, both of those commands are also in my um, stream title. You can also watch all the other interviews there. All the ones I've done for the last two years. Also, this interview will be on YouTube in the next, at the way at least 24 hours, but usually about two or three days, I'll have this interview up there as well. Um, go check them out. Go follow me on Twitter, all that stuff, yeah. That's with the whole partner thing, like you have to wait 24 hours, yes, right? Yes, yes. You cannot like directly oh, stream right, right. and then upload the VOD oh, to directly to, sub to, to, um, to my YouTube. Because if you do, you break your contract. Let's say those will slap you around a little bit to do that. Ooh, that's, that, that's good to know because like I was planning to do shirts. So if I ever like really early did that, <laughs> that would have been a bit of a yikes. <laughs> so how yeah. many subs did you say? Like 10? No, um, nine, nine now. Nine, nine yeah. Subs. So Nikki, uh, how do you pronounce that? Nikki Kloru Brid? Brid? How do you pronounce that? I'm, I'm the Call worst of names. Call, Call a bird. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Honestly, like, yeah, it's been really annoying for me because, like, I have been, uh, like, for whatever reason, PayPal does not allow me to sub to anyone. Really? But occasionally, yeah, yeah. Like, I have That's to weird. get it fixed, but at the, it. it it's weird, because, but it's also probably good for me because there's so many people that I want to support nowadays that if you were to, you know, support, for example, if you were to support everyone you interviewed, that would be a lot I'll, of money. Uh, I'd be bankrupt, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be bankrupt. I want to be living on the streets. 
I'll be like, please, please, <laughs> give me a Mars bar, please. I won't steal it. Please. <laughs> 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 I want them all. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we got a Jib Jib Thank with so the 500 much, bits. I appreciate you. that. We have a hype train now. Thank you so much, Sayuri. Thank you, thank you so much, Jib Jib. It's been so much fun. Holy shit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> epic, epic. Hey, Rebel, Rebel. I think, I think Choo Choo might have fallen so asleep. That's so nice of you. Oh, yeah. I haven't moved I'm enough. What? I, I think they might have. Thank you so much. Are they moving? This is their first gift Are they moving? I don't, I don't think so. I think they're, I think they're dead. It's okay, they have only had three, three hours of sleep because they had to drive someone back uh, to the airport earlier. Thank you so much, Eric. Oh, you got a sub now. Now you can you use you all today. those fancy emotes. I have also yeah, animated gifts. You sure like oh. spreading your load Whoa! Everywhere. The Thanks. A gift to subs. There you go. Alucard, thank you so much. I did it. Fuck you. Thank you. Thank you. But, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> What? Is that how you thank yourself? Yo, fuck you, man. Thanks for the money, man. Fuck you, dude. Why would you do that, bro? Like, come on, thank you dude. So much, Erica. They thank come you so much. On, dude. Unbelievable. Being supportive, that's kind of toxic. Not gonna lie. And thanks so much for the two hundred bits. I nice. appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So that was for a new uh, emote slot, right? No. Uh, well, to get a new emote right. slot, it's uh, I need sixteen hundred. So <laughs> <laughs> this is just for a goal, oh, like a okay. daily <laughs> thing. Like... Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know yeah. what I think is what? Yeah, I need, uh, I need a lot more than that. I need like a thousand <laughs> subs to get a new emo slot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's like an oil prince, you know. You need uh, a lot more than that, you know. That's uh, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, were you one of those people that like um, played Gary's mod? Yeah, uh, I did. RP before they got on VHS? Yes, Dark RP. Oh my god, me too. Like you could, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You could just like take those money printers and just put them in the back oh of your room in your own god. Room What? Like, the yeah, 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 yeah. I did do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to play Gary's mod all the time. Uh, as a kid, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, let me just buy some money printers beh behind your guys yeah, to get some more subs. Be be right, guys. Uh, don't, 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 tell, don't tell the government. <laughs> yeah, Snow Fox says TTT. Oh so yes. Fun. So to give you a, a little bit about myself, um, before I was oh. streaming, I actually I was a YouTuber, and majority of my content was actually playing Gary's mod, uh, you like make, recording it, not streaming it. And Ooh. my most popular series was playing Trouble in Terrace Town uh, for like three or four years back in like 2012. So I would be known for doing that. And uh, my commentary skills weren't as good, but what made me interesting why people watched me was because when I played uh, as a trader, I would just go ham and like kill like half the server. I would go on like these 10, 12 kill streaks, and people would started to Jesus watch Christ. me because they're like, holy shit, dude, this guy's going to public servers, just murdering everybody. Like, he must be hacking, Thanks dude. So, I, I was known for really good. RDM, RDM, RDM. I'm like, dude, I'm actually a traitor, dude. I'm not RDMing, dude. Relax. This shall suffice. <laughs> Actually, it's funny that that is a thing uh, with uh, you too because I have a shirt that says TTT right here. Yeah. Like, do you see it? Yeah, I do see it. It stands for, uh, yeah, so it's for. It stands for Trouble and Terrorist Town, right? Yeah. Uh, but this actually stands for Tokumi Totally Tsundere. Oh, yeah. Because she always pretends like she's so angry with me. But then, like, she does a very, very, very cute stuff most of the time. Oh, so we just okay. call, keep calling her Tsundere. She's, uh, it's actually like a little emo too. Wait, can I show you? Sure. Uh, like a little emo, like, right here on my shirt. Oh, yeah, That's uh, from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So she's uh, she's my workout instructor. Yeah, she's Angie. Oh, that was my scotch class. Well, anyway, so I made this for her, and it was very funny to see her reaction. <laughs> she basically just clicked on me and warned me because oh, she's nice. a mute. <laughs> Nerf the fox thanks for the hundred bits as well. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, and everybody for following. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what to oh, do thank for. Thank you so much, everyone. I, I don't know what to do for twenty five thousand followers. Like, what do you do? I just be like. <sighs> Should I play a spooky Honestly, game? Um, well, you That's could crazy. do that. Um, oh, <laughs> well, that, well, there you go. You could do that. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, what I like to do with um, s s my, mine is a bit. What? What, Ziggy? Oh, hey, Tree Tree will. Uh, he's, wake <gasps> he's waking up. He's waking up. Oh shit! They woke <laughs> up. Oh hey, we were here for four hours. Yeah, just relaxing. It's it's five o'clock in the morning. What's up? <laughs> 
We're here for a long time. Yeah, it's actually, uh, <laughs> you've been awake for months now. We've awaited your arrival. <laughs> so, um, one of the things uh, that I like to do for my uh, celebration parties, I had one for uh, one like you which was a beach me. fields party. And then, oh all. my god, thank you so oh. much for the thousands. Thousands of thousand for bits. Supporting here. Thank you so much. Yeah. I will show you a secret. <laughs> if if you uh, so there are also bit badges. So a thousand bits, you get a permanent booty emote. Even if you unsubscribe next month, you get a permanent ass emote, cake emote forever, of my cake. Okay, yeah, cake, cake. Yeah. There's no cake bad. That that's yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh. Oh, yeah, Spending all your bitties like you wanted oh. me. Oh, well, there you go. I want them all. So, okay. Yeah, they were like, oh shit, thank you so much for the thousand bits. It's at 69. 69%. Nice. nice. It was perfect number. It was perfect. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. Oh, we thank got a so doggy mode. Thank you for supporting Rebels here. Thank you. Thank you so much for supporting oh, yeah. me. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It was well planned. 100%. Hell yeah. I appreciate that. Thank uh, you so much. What was he going to say? Wait, where was it? Oh, right. Uh, one of the things I like to do is like every time I, we do a celebration stream, because like I like to celebrate uh, where I like things that I've achieved, right? And also, well, yeah. things that we have achieved, because mm -hmm. obviously I couldn't do this by myself. Uh, so I like to open a lobby and like to have as many people as possible that are interested in that event. Uh, uh, obviously, the more people there are, the more exclusive I will have to be. So, obviously, the earlier su you support, the earlier you have access to it. And that's also why uh, my VIP uh, redeem on my stream, you can just buy VIP, uh, but it's with like a lot of points uh -huh. because I'm like uh, under the impression, like, if you, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, if, if you have someone that's loyal enough to stay for such a long time, watch you the entire time i feel like at that point you earn vip sometimes there's a, some exceptions where you know they're just there just to get that just to get those benefits but at that point you can just you know use your brain and just be like okay well you know you're just here to leech off of whatever i'm trying to do or whatever mm -hmm. uh, in the future i might like add different rewards too but currently as it stands it's to get a uh, priority pass to the events for uh, 1k was a beach party 2k was a star themed like uh, celebration party like in a spaceship mm -hmm. and stuff which was also cute but oh right i remember when i was doing that one of my controllers died <laughs> in oh, the middle shit. of the party <laughs> So I had to redo it, but like it was still a, a great success and it was still very uh, enjoyable, but like uh, that was a bit unfortunate, but like having the uh, opportunity to celebrate your community, I feel like helps your community uh, grow and sort of uh, like establish like, yeah, we did something together, like we made you happy, which uh, is also important. Like you should know that like your happiness is also important. So like celebrating your success and taking pride in what you've done, I think is uh, very important, especially like 25,000 people. That, that that follow you. That's a lot of people. Yeah, it is a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely feel like having some sort of event or whatever is it, just gonna make everyone be happy before you that much more. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> is there any? Um, we're gonna be wrapping up here soon because uh, it's been over two hours now. Oh, yeah, but right. uh, is there anything that you'd like to say? Any final statements? Any? Thing. You can also shout out your own channel, your own, maybe tomorrow you're doing a special stream, I'm not sure. Like, uh, you can shout out all your links uh, and everything like that. Tell people w more about uh, yourself. No. Uh, well, okay, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, so, Wednesday is gonna be the new stream. I, oh, well, the next stream, sorry. Uh, so... It's just going to be the normal schedule from now until I fix uh, my avatar, until I uh, have what I want. Because I also mm -hmm. want to make a bed law on my avatar, which is like a belly dancer outfit. Okay. Uh, but I'll get to that. I think like having a good base that you know that isn't scuffed is a little True. bit more important than you know shaking my hips or whatever <laughs> camera. I did that enough anyway. Um, either way, I, I think uh, once I have that done, I'm then I'm going to start focusing on uh, either my world that I'm want to make a sort of a home world where I spawn in or I even start my stream or whatever, mm -hmm. and then take my chat to other worlds that way. Uh, or, oh, right, uh, of course, the partner party, you know, the, the big partner party, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because, like, obviously, since uh, since it was quite a struggle to, for me to get it, 
I think it took me like five times and I had double the statistics technically necessary for it. Mm -hmm. It was a bit discouraging because they don't really give you any feedback and they don't tell you what you're doing wrong. True. Uh, but since, since that's over now, I, I'm so much happier. <sighs> So I definitely want to celebrate that. I definitely want to celebrate it. Uh, honestly, other than that, it's been such a pleasure being here. It was very fun and actually engaging questions other than like, oh, what's your hobby or what's your favorite color? Because I get that quite often too. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm a little more experienced than that. You know, over two years, I'm a little more experienced, you know, yeah. than uh, what's your favorite color, bro? <laughs> Yeah. Cause like, oh, what, what? I don't know. Shoe size do you have or something? Oh, fuck it. Yeah. What? <laughs> shoe there, like, size? Playing with your pen. I don't know. Like, all right, shit. I mean, I, does it look like I'm wearing shoes? Yeah. What's your what's I'm your paw? What's shoes. your paw size, guys? Come on, I need to know what your paw size is. <laughs> my, my paw's kind of small. Oh, that's okay. You make up for it in other ways, like your personality and your cake. Hell yeah. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say very good, so. <laughs> Alright, alright. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes, the, 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 the big PvP party is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, honestly, I, I really hope I, I get to be there with the 25k. I would love to come uh, around since, I mean, technically is isn't too far from now. So if you do, I mean, if you do want me there, I would love to be there. <laughs> sure, I'll have to set something up, but I'm thinking about it. Yeah, maybe I should just do like a hangout in VR chat and just, you know, celebrate. Yeah, maybe if you're VIP long... or with... yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Just, just be, just giving people the opportunity to just spend time with you is usually enough. Like most of the time, I'm like freaking out because I'm like, am I entertaining enough? Like, dude, I'm like, no, nobody gives a shit. Like, they just want me there. They just want to look at me. <laughs> so it's fine, honestly. Mm -hmm. yeah, other than that, I, I am, I am, I am all out of questions. I, I it was that's cool. that's all right because <laughs> we're gonna be wrapping it up. So. If you like to put the camera on me, I like to say, <laughs> hey, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for being here for this interview. Again, VRC Flare, go check them out. Twitch.tv slash VRC Flare. They just recently got partners. They're going to do a partner uh, party or a PP event. Um, the next stream is on Wednesday. <laughs> Follow them on Twitter. Join their Discord. All that good stuff. If you haven't already, you can also join my Discord. Uh, SMH Play Discord or just SMH Social. Gives you all my links. Gives you a link tree. Gives all the good stuff there. You can follow me on Twitter. I usually uh, always uh, make a tweet when I go live. Uh, next interview will probably be a while. Like, I'm not sure when because I'm just talking to people, setting things up. Um, that's pretty much mm -hmm. it. If you haven't already hit that follow button to know when I go live, typically I stream almost every day, usually around like 8 p.m. EST, which is around this time. And usually I either just play VR chat, talk to my chat, hang out, or I'll play other games like Genshin Impact, Dead by Daylight, stuff like that. I'm also in the plans of uh, doing more um, variety stuff in terms of other VTubers, so I'm actually setting those things up. And also interviewing uh, VTubers as well. So in the, I'm in the process of basically turning this VR chat show into uh, over Discord where I can interview people that way. So I can interview like 2D people <laughs> or three dimensional or IRL people and just sort of green screen them into the studio. Uh, and then obviously, like I said earlier, uh, probably by the time next year, like early next year, something like that, at least I'm hoping for, this studio is gonna be super um, expanded in terms of just you know technology in terms of camera angles in terms of content so if you're someone who's out there watching who's an avatar creator who makes your own avatars or has your own oc or a world creator or just someone who's really good at improv i have the place for you because those are going to be uh on this studio in the future so if you're interested in those, uh sorry in those ideas please just hit me up at some point in time and i'll uh, hook you up and uh, we'll see uh, you know see you uh, dancing on that stage or doing some sort of talent show or whatever but yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, before, I'll end my stream now, and I'll ask you for who I should raid, but uh, we're going to take a photo directly after the stream. And then if you want to hang around for a little yeah. bit, like 5, 10 minutes off stream, I'll, I'll chat you up. But yeah, um, yeah, sure. uh, before we go, is there anybody that you would like for me to raid or any suggestions? If not, I just usually raid someone that I'm following, <laughs> on, like a VTuber or whatever. Okay. Uh Yes, so most of the time uh, when when I am like very occupied with in-game stuff, mm -hmm. uh, usually I ask my mods. So, Ziggy, Tree, is there anyone online that you know I would like to rate?
I think uh, Siggy's checking it right now. And if not, I'll check uh, quickly my... Oh. Oh, is Lulu on? Wait, 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 just give me one. You've, uh, you've had an interview with him. Lulu? Oh, I Lulu? Oh! Or Metric? Uh, or... Well, that's what I thought he meant. Uh, Lumetric is, uh, I can send you the name. Sure, yeah. Uh, if you, un Please unless, do. uh, Sega just wants to type it out. Or type it out, chat. either works. That would also work. That, that makes it easier on me. Yeah, I mean, I can paste it here technically either. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, as well, I mean. Yeah, we can uh, raid Lumetric. I've uh, recently got to know them. Uh, it, it was quite interesting when I got to know them. That, that's the name right there. Um, but when I got to know them, uh, they joined on me because Snowy joined on me, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Moss joined on me, uh, there, there were like two other people too that, um, Bubbles joined and, and, and Archon, I think, all in the same world. It was like, I was about to end my stream and then they kept on joining and I was like, okay, I can't mm -hmm. end now. <laughs> like, they just joined. <laughs> and, uh, Playing uh, Sonic Mania. That green one in the audience, right? there you know the the cute the cute mossy person yeah they did they one of the main reasons why i didn't want to end so look at that it's so cute you're adorable absolutely i love you too sweetheart